so you're at the bonfire, and so now you got to beat the boss, like yeah. the last boss. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, uh, it's not really intro to credits, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the last boss first, yep. and then I'm going to play through and get to this, this point again just before the last yep. boss, and that way the next yep. stream that I fire up, I can do all the optional yeah. content right away. Yeah, I got you, for sure. So. I, it kind of it's it makes sense. Like I understand how it all works, mm -hmm. but it amuses me that you start by fighting the last boss. Yeah, I don't. Know. It really makes no difference to me. So. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm gonna probably watch the stream in the living room, which is where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the puppy's never been in here before, so she's exploring. So she's the going concern. Okay. Or she's never been for like long periods of time, so. Just making sure she doesn't chew electrical cords and such. Mm -hmm. But alrighty, buddy. Apparently, I have to put the microphone like right inside my mouth for people to hear me oh. properly. Okay. So what I'm going to be fighting him with right now is the Falchion plus 15. I do love my Falchions. Okay. <clears throat> you can see. Uh, in my inventory here, I've got every different type of falchion possible, up to plus 10, 15. Um, switching out the eagle shield for the black knight shield so I can parry, because I'd be lost okay. without it. Yep. <clears throat> I feel like running is a slower process now for whatever reason like I feel like I'm running slower than I was in Dark Souls 2 well, it's probably been a while since you've played Dark Souls 1 has it yeah it has so do you think that's gonna hinder or change things um I'll have to get used to it again but uh yeah I for sure it's like riding a really shitty bike with spikes that falls <laughs> apart when you try it <laughs> It's uh, it reminds me of you've seen that meme where Buddy's driving along on the bicycle and puts the, the stick in the tire, no. and he'll blame it on someone else. Oh, it's awesome. It's like EA did this, <laughs> even though he clearly did it himself. Yeah. Well, I'm off to a good start. So. Did you die? Yeah, I did. Halberd was my weapon of choice. Oh wow, he uh, he haveled you, man. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I will take my obligatory drink. <laughs> uh, you're going to be fucking dead. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how I feel about that death. Okay, you got that one on your system. Yep. Look at this buddy, five follow, five viewers. Yeah, I posted on Facebook, so... Nice. Should be a couple people coming in. Yeah, I remember watching you... Uh, fight the gargoyles with that halberd that was I almost consider that cheating that was so uh, so powerful halberds and spears are uh, pretty overpowered in a good way but I remember that's what you told me I should be doing yeah yeah see I handicapped myself from the first of the game because I played half it with a dagger and I couldn't go much slower than that Also, putting magic on your weapons. Like, I played uh, played a lot with like the lightning and the fire falchions, but raw falchion is the way to go, man. Raw anything. Holy fuck! Just a sec. Sure. Okay. Yeah, now I'm here. It's all good. The pup had grabbed one of the cables and was running with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Jordan's doing... What are you doing? A, a shot of beer every time I die, every yep. time I summon, every time I beat a boss? Is that what you're going to do? Yep. Standard Drunk Souls. Um, you will gets, never actually have to drink for uh, summoning, because I'll never summon. There you go. And will I have to drink to you dying to bosses? Will you, okay. Will you beer have to drink? I don't know. That's up to you. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Um, 
I don't really know what to think of this. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to blame this on the fact that I've been playing Dark Souls 2 for a month and that the very slight differences are throwing me off. Is it just me or does he actually run slower in Dark Souls than Dark Souls 2? Okay, I'm back. Did you die? Yep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Same place. I know, right? You're. Oh man, my liver is hating you right now. <laughs> like I said, I don't even know what to think of this. This is. I'm just gonna blame it on the differences between Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls. Uh, what is it? Pourquoi? What's that? What's the what's the pourquoi mean and why or but why or pourquoi means why yeah there you go <laughs> I can't believe you you died the second time there that's uh, yeah well, hopefully it won't become I, a a pattern does not bode well <laughs> everybody gets two. Yeah, it's funny because when I started playing Dark Souls 2, it felt like I was moving underwater. And now going back yep. to Dark Souls 1, it feels like I'm running underwater. Like That's how I felt it when I went to 1 from 2. Yeah. Although they say that your movements in 1 are a lot more deliberate. Yeah. Like, um, and on 2, that you're like running on a shoe device. I can see that. Yeah, I, I could appreciate that, yeah. Jordan, you might not want to drink to this one because uh, you'll be in the hospital by the end of the night. Did the boss kill? Oh, they ran up behind you? No? The boss? Really? Uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of embarrassing. Apparently, I'm losing my touch. Well, you know, pairing is a bit of a deal, and you only do it the once, so. Yeah, true. I think this is also the um, first time I played him with headphones on. I don't know if oh. his sound makes a difference or not, but <laughs> I really can't get over this man. Well, this is the final <laughs> boss, so I mean, okay. I imagine, uh, when I loop around and start playing the game legit, it won't be as bad. Yeah, you should probably start doing that, huh? <laughs> I love it. That's all good, man. Like I said, it's just really just going from one system, one game to another. Yeah. It's also been like a week since I've played any Dark Souls, which is a long time for uh, me. There. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I got you. You keeping a list of excuses yet, or? <laughs> no, sir. Probably should have actually done some combat testing first to get used to the controls again. Uh, that would have been the good one, yeah. Very slight differences, like a small delay before he actually starts rolling, and mm -hmm. differences between. That's when you try to um, run and when he actually starts running. The consensus that I was reading on the internet was that people liked combat more in Dark Souls 2, but the story and the level design was way superior in the first one. Yeah. Not, not story, but like atmosphere and yeah, level design and setting. Um, good thing you're not using a uh, Guitar Hero controller, huh? What do you mean? We saw the video of the guy beating with with the Rock Band controller. No, I've never seen that. Okay, he beats Dark Souls with, yes, the guitar controller. Wow. 
impressive. All right. Here comes the parry. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. Ten so far. Holy fuck. Okay, this guy's tearing me the fuck apart. <clears throat> It's like riding a bicycle, so get off your button pedal. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of death, so I would actually recommend against playing a drinking game of this because. Uh, <laughs> okay, man, no worries. No worries. Yeah. I don't want to lose all my viewers to alcohol poisoning. Uh, just so you know, uh, you died. Yeah. I got one hit in. Uh, nice. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you really did. Like a boss. Okay, I think what Apparently I'm going to do is I'm going to kite this okay. first night and just uh, have a quick round with them just to get used to the combat and shit again. Well, this one's especially unique because like, I think this is the only fight in the entire game where I, I paired. Mm -hmm. Likewise. I think the controls are quicker, but they're just not as quick as I expected them to be going back, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy fuck. <sighs> Healing's much quicker, so that's nice. Well, I mean, this is the final boss, so it should be the hardest, right? Yeah, that's generally how it works. so glad he doesn't take fucking three hours to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, you got that for you. Oh, and there you go. There's there's some parrying and some, some posing or whatever the yeah. term is. I forgot how bad I was at parrying. Uh, okay, yeah. It's, it's funny, you know, I did a lot for enemies in the first part of this game. I don't know why, like, in the Undead Parish or whatever, but after that I just got out of it. Yeah. No, I, I didn't know how to parry at all through the entire game, and then had to figure it out during the last fight. Yep. This is also the first time I fought him on NG plus, plus 5. Okay, yeah. like a fucking train. Yep. I can see that you should have changed the title of the stream to Kyle Beats Final Boss in one sitting. <laughs> I might have to. <clears throat> and then the two sittings and then the three. <laughs> the ongoing saga of the final boss, yeah. Okay, so I'll have to work on my parrying, but it's only really going to be useful working on it uh, against, against Gwyn himself. Yeah. So. Yep. I gotcha. All right, here it is. Oh, what? Did you die? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I was just gonna uh, homeward bone anyway because I used five or six assists. So. But did you die though? Yep. <laughs> On purpose? 
I wouldn't call it on purpose, but yeah, I, I didn't really care. Oh, okay, cool. So is this how the speedrunners do it? Like, get to the last boss and then just brick? <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch speedrunners. Oh, okay. Sweet. Um, I actually do need to watch the video, though, of the guy doing it like 10 times speed, because that sounds awesome. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Uh, did you end up finishing The Link to the Past? Yep. I did... Uh, In the second sitting? And, yep. Yeah, the second thing didn't take as long because I'd already gone and gotten all the items and all the uh, heart pieces and all that junk, so... Okay. It was just finishing the last bosses off. A couple of them nice. that I thought were going to be really hard ended up being uh, pretty simple. Oh, yeah? Well, the, well, that sword seemed to help a lot. Yeah, for sure. I like when you were in the uh, spike room, though, with the moving floor. That was hilarious. <laughs> Holy fuck. What a mess. Yeah, I Learned how little I like moving floors and, and spike walls. <laughs> That's it. Uh, sure. So, PEI is apparently the place to go to get beer and puppies. Yeah. I could have told you that. There you go. I don't know if there's much more important in my life than those two things, so there you go. The necessities. Oh, uh, kick to the chest, no. Piss off so I can fucking heal. <clears throat> oh, he's got me. Kaboom. Oh, yeah, he grabs you and stuff. How many times did you fight the final boss, Jordan? Honestly, it was the once. No, maybe twice. Okay, yeah. But uh, it was quite underwhelming. Um, it gets but then I've been like, he, uh, he takes oh, I can only now. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, because I think he only took four or five with my go. Maybe five. Yep. And for me, it's and, gonna be uh, like 13 or something like that. So. And his hits were very, very heavy, but they seemed to be very slow, and they didn't seem to be that bad. Mm -hmm. But also, I've been playing for like weeks beforehand too, so I was like ingrained in the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it'll be really unfortunate if I take a calendar year to get used to this again and end up not being able to do it in a sitting. <laughs> True. Come on. I totally fucking dodged that. Hacks on this? Yeah. Call hacks? Apparently the back of his sword is just as heavy as the front of his sword. Bullshit. Well, you know those hitboxes, man. They'll get you every time. Yeah. Probably another big difference is like the the kind of hitboxes that you're susceptible to during a roll. Ah, uh, okay. So I would imagine the rolls would be designed completely differently. Uh, if anyone joins the stream at this point, you should tell them that you've made it all the way to the final boss, and uh, <laughs> this is it. Yeah, I started uh, 20 minutes ago, and now we're here. <laughs> what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> yeah, I expected to be done in 15, but uh, this guy's been holding <laughs> me up, so... There you go. <laughs> I think I've gotten one parry in successfully, like, 
Mm -hmm. He's fucking killing me here. Come on, Chief. Not today. Gotcha. Not today. I really do think you're just in a rut, and that you'll you'll move past this, you'll ascend, yep. and then you'll get into uh, the real shit. <clears throat> what are you calling shenanigans on, Devin? I actually think it would be funny if somebody joined the stream and was like, holy shit, you made it all the way to the end. <laughs> That's it, huh? Started. I'm talking about how I'm still not used to the controls. <clears throat> you know, they say the hardest part of uh, NG6 is beating NG5. Apparently it is now. All the way to the end, yeah. <clears throat> Curtis is congratulating you on making all the way to the end. Yep. Yeah, good to see you again, Curtis. <clears throat> it has been a long, strange journey. Going literally nowhere. <laughs> yeah, this is the NG plus five last boss. A oh, white. Come on. Okay, I've got it now. Nice. Wow, that really does not do much damage. No. You're gonna have to uh, do it like a million times. Yeah, 13 or 14. Wow. <clears throat> That's insane. Yeah, I'm swear, like, it was five tops for mine. Yeah, that's what uh, six playthroughs will get you. Stamina. And he's got it. We got two in this time, right? Two or three, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. I parried too early. Did he end it? Yeah, I did. Like it was his job. Gotcha. I'm here to murder streams. Just killing streams is my business, and business is good. <laughs> yep. Wouldn't be so bad if you didn't two shot you. Um, were you there for the. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Um. 
um, the Muldorm, the big snake boss in Link to the Past. Um, no, I heard that one kept knocking you off the edge, though. Yeah, for like a good 40 minutes. I actually have the flame stone plate ring on, and I'm considering swapping it out for steel protection. Okay, yep. Yeah. Gonna see if that makes any difference at all. Because it's not really his fire attacks I'm getting hit by. Okay, yeah, very true. But pretty sure he's gonna kill me in two hits anyway, so I don't think it makes a huge difference. Have you? Is there something you can summon to bring in with you? Yeah, but like an I, NPC? I, I don't summon in this game. Oh, okay, sweet. It's a good of, good of you to put your morals above the uh, viewership. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Oh fuck you guys. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you're here to watch. You're gonna watch. <clears throat> um, what does Fire Link Shrine look like again? Could you take us back to there for a minute? Um, whenever he kills me, yeah. Next, I will. Okay, no, that's just what's getting that. I thought you were making that's a joke. That's the joke. <clears throat> how you're gonna die and go back to Fire Link Shrine? Yeah, that's the one. No, how I've been uh, here dying so long that you forget what the rest of the game looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, nice, not bad. <laughs> Like yeah, what do what do other enemies look like? All I remember is now is the uh, Black Knights and Gwyn. Are there other enemies in this game? No, nope, I don't that's think the... so, Jordan. Um, maybe you should uh, play it your fucking self and find out. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, it's pretty brutal now, but I am getting better. Oh yeah, um, just oh for sure, I'm man. Yeah. Remembering the strategies that I took against him. Was I not dying one of them? I can't remember. It's been that long. <laughs> okay. It'll come back to you. Yeah. Well, mostly, like, dodge his his kicks and his grabs Yeah. until he starts that uh, four-swing sequence. Mm-hmm. Um, I've even and, parried uh, Can you parry when he before. does the big lunge? Yeah, I've, I have parried that before, but I'm not brave enough to do it right now. Okay, yeah. Come on. That's new. I parried him grab you. the post. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a waste. Yeah, I clicked all the right buttons. <clears throat> so it's nice that the game adapts to you getting better by getting harder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, you only swing your sword into the west. Brutal, man. That's dumb. Um, also remembering that he takes quite a bit of time to start his second swing so if you oh, okay. parry early at all then it's 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 easy to parry way too early gotcha yeah. like the parry i just did there was even still a little early you have to mm -hmm. wait for him to come again also no blinking allowed that makes mm -hmm. it a little harder you fucker he loves getting that kick in Loves it. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, if he lands a kick, then he's got 75% of my health in the bag. Mm hmm. Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah, he kicks the shield to the way and then has at it. Yeah. You can roll out of it if you have any stamina left. <clears throat> gotcha. All right, well, the uh, health bar made it to the left of your head, which is impressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got them figured out now. <clears throat> you should wear a green T-shirt next time. Just saying. Um, when I played uh, Link to the Past, the second one, I was actually wearing a green T-shirt that was exactly the same color as my green screen. And I had to change nice. out because it would have just looked like a floating head, right? Gotcha. I'm going to go let the dog out. Don't beat the game without me. Uh, no promises. I just fucking came out to Firelink's shrine for Jordan, but... <clears throat> You'll see it when I loop back around 
Yeah, staying away from his kicks and grabs are absolutely paramount because if he gets one in, then he's, you know, a single hit away from taking the fight. And while it is possible to successfully parry, repost, and heal, it's not a great place to be in when you know you're one tiny fuck up away from dying. Gotcha, bitch. I didn't do it, but only specifically because you asked me not to. Okay, I appreciate that. <laughs> that's fair. No, that's not true at all. the boss. Nice. Ooh, tried to parry that, but... You thought about wanting to parry it? And then thought better of it? No, I just fucked it up. Um, but yeah, it's the fact that you're in the ring twice as long with them that uh, gives him way more chances yeah. to kill you is the problem. That's it. It's like he is a hard boss if you actually give him the time to be. Yes, that's right.
swing your fucking sword anytime. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Now I'm down to about five or six hits away, so. I see them, but that's impressive. One more hit. <clears throat> there, we got it. Good man. Yeah. So I've still got the touch, it just took some getting used to. For those just joining us, that was not the end of the stream, that was the beginning. Um, I'm beating the final boss of NG plus 5 and then looping around to get to the final boss of NG plus 6. So then when I start the next stream, which is going to be all the optional content in DLC, um, I'll just be able to pick it up and go and it'll all be unlocked. I don't really care which ending I pick since they're both functionally the same. Have you seen the fire ending, Jordan? Nope. I have not. And I played as a fire mancer, so there you go. Hmm. Alright. So we're going to kick straight into it and hopefully be out of the bird before too long. Alright, tutorial time, and I need it. Get it, because I forget how to play. I get it. I get jokes. Remember how I said uh, Ornstein and Smo would be a cakewalk for me now? Yep. Do you still believe me? No. <laughs> Nor should you. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's a fucking dog. So you're going to take this boss down in one go? Right here, right now? Yeah, that's the plan. At least you're doing damage to him. Now, does it feel good to do something right? <laughs> does that, like, reinstill the confidence? I don't know if I should take that as a compliment, or... Oh, no, for sure, man. Compliment all the way. Yeah. I'm still hesitant, though, about the ones that's a deal, though. Well, I only said that because uh, during the MG plus 5 playthrough, it was just, just calmly walking around, killing them. Like, I had no trouble at all. Nice. Um... I don't know if you guys notice or not, but I also play without music now, because I've played the game so much 
with the music that it just drives me crazy now. And boss fights are significantly less stressful when there's no music screaming in your face. Nice. Good for you for not getting crushed by the boulder. Hmm. I think I did my first time back. Did you have to kill that guy? Is that necessary? No. But I wanted his shit. And you didn't want to talk to him? I love it. Yep. That's how speedrunners do it, <clears> I bet. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I also need uh, every spare second I can get, it seems, for those very unlucky fights. Yeah, better chaos. I'm looking at you. Yeah, oh my god, the fucking better chaos. I've seen a couple people do it, and there's actually a, t a tiny couple bricks ledge that you can step out on, and yeah. it makes that jump a little bit easier. Like, you can just kind of okay. roll onto it. So I'm going to try that. And Did you see the bow and arrow trick? I, I You told me about it, but I haven't seen it okay. done. Yeah, I might give that a shot. So even though I have almost 200,000 souls, leveling up costs 3.5, or three, like 345,000. So I can't do no, anything geez. with them right now. Which is fine, I, I don't need to level up. I'm at like fucking... What am I? 210. Uh, anything important here that I need? Let me think. Not specifically. Oh, I have 99 humanity, so that just fell on the floor. Whatever. <laughs> You guys don't deserve moonlight arrows. Why are my arrows passing through them? That's an interesting question. Because you can't even? Maybe because I can't aim for shit. <coughs> Whatever that is. So what you're seeing now is what the stream is supposed to look like. Actually efficient movement. Not getting caught up on things. Knowing where to go and how to do it. Running past pointless junk and such? Yep. Nice. Oh, so remember how I said a buddy of mine was playing uh, Dark Souls 1 again? And uh, turns out he's loving it. Yeah. His major problem with the first playthrough was he did not know the place the undead parish existed, so he went to the, the graveyard? Yes. That's actually a common problem. You hear a lot of people do that. Yeah, apparently that's where the fun goes. You'll see people posting like, man, these skeletons are kicking my ass. Like, I cannot <laughs> touch them at all. And it's like, yeah, you're not going the right way. <laughs> you're doing it wrong, yeah. And they do that on purpose, too. Like, they, they leave it open so that... Yes, exactly. You know, when you see, supposedly, that you're going the wrong way, you uh, turn around and try something else. Oh, you bastards. Whereas me, I was blown away when I found out about the cemetery down there. Like, I did not even know it was a thing. Yeah. No. Really? Here. Holy fuck, these guys. So did you say that one of the most important skills for this game is to um, know when to heal and when not to heal? Was that me that said that? No, I don't know. You told me how impressed you were with good healing. Yeah, yeah. And how well, um, a lot of unnecessary deaths come from people not knowing when to heal. Um, keeping an eye on your on your health bars is pretty important, but also uh, 
I call it brave healing. Healing when uh, okay. uh, it looks to other people like it's a terrible idea to you, but you can see just enough of the person that you're fighting, um, their moves, mm -hmm. that you know that you can get away with it, or at least you're betting on the fact that you can get away with it. Because mm -hmm. um, healing's always a bet. But... Yeah, if you're good at brave healing, then uh, it definitely helps out, especially in boss fights. Some bosses, they they don't actually let you heal ever, so you have to just take chances for it. Brave it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Focus Star 15. 15 is asking, is this game hard? Is this game hard? Um, well, I would say that for someone who's played it seven times, no, but that's apparently been shown to be false already. It's. Would you... Uh... Compare it to breaking a pile of bricks with your flaccid penis. That's a pretty good comparison, yeah. As far as difficulty goes. Who was that? Was that Yahtzee or was that? That was uh, Honest Trailer. Okay, yeah, it's <coughs> uh, hard in a different way than like the old NES hard, um, unnecessarily hard. It's, it's a it's still... ninety percent fair hard. I wouldn't even say that. I don't know. One of those games that uh, you have to grind more than any normal human would ever ex be expected to grind in order for it to be an easy game. But yeah, it, traditionally it's like one of the hardest games out there now that people play. Like, as we've seen every now and then, the game still kicks my ass, so... And that's just what keeps you in love with the game, isn't it? Yep. I can see like five o'clock tomorrow morning. Sun's coming up. Your blood, eyes are bloodshot. You're like, I did it. I beat it in one go. Yep. Are oh, you fucker? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> did you get stun locked? Um. Well, I tried to kite the flaming barrel down the steps. Okay. And um, when I went to go back again, the steps were blocked by dudes, so they hit me, and the barrel hit me, and I died. <laughs> so I you think that was their plan all along, actually. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. That was teamwork. Yeah. Oh, man. That was awesome. It makes me think of uh, like that Batman movie with the Joker, and he talks about when things go according to plan. Even yeah. if the plan is completely insane. Yep. Um, Devin's suggesting kicking the shields of the guys that I can't uh, break their yep. uh, guard. It's funny mm -hmm. because I could have, but I'm not used to being able to kick because I mm. carry the e eagle shield around everywhere. And all you can do with the eagle shield is bash their face in. Okay. Can you kick in Dark Souls too? I don't think you can, can you? Uh, or if you could, I I, you I've can, never yeah. tried it. Pretty oh, sure really? you're kicking Dark Souls too. Depends on the entire... the shield that you use. They use teamwork. That's not fair. <laughs> it is not fair at all. Oh, there's it's only funny. one barrel per per game. What is it? Is there only one barrel per game or something? One barrel of what? Like of the, the flaming barrel that they throw at you? Oh yes, yeah, it doesn't come back. Same as the boulder. Sweet. Um, it's funny that. seeing uh, a person watch their first enemy Estus heal, and they just start losing their minds because they don't think it's fair. Oh, nice. You're just like, bullshit, ah. you can't heal. So I'm actually looking forward to all the boss fights. Like, this, this one will be good too. They'll all be yep. good. Um, the game's actually going to be mostly boss fights because the areas I'll just be able to blow through. Because the real challenge of an area is figuring it out, right? Yeah, very true. So you're just going to blow through Blight Town as well? Yeah, that's the plan. I have to say it's the plan because, uh, as we see, my plans don't always work out. No, I would go the uh, lower Blight Town way, like the um, past the Lightning Drakes or whatever. Oh, no, I, I, I have to do it the real way. I've never gone the, the cheese way like that. Okay, I had to cheese way it. Yeah. On the lesser points. 
Oh, wow, you're right. You can take quite a beating with the Eagle Shield up there. Yeah, you can actually fight him with the Eagle Shield. Um, but who would want to do that? That'd be stupid. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're uh, semi-speed running. Quasi-speed running. <laughs> but yeah, it's claim to fame is that it can take a hit from, like... Ornstein, the the Capra Demon, the Taurus Demon, and even uh, the Asylum Demon, and just not even worry about it at all. Nice. Like it can, if you have the poise for it, it can take a hit from most bosses, and you don't even feel it. I don't even think I'm gonna trigger Solaire. You can. Uh, you can play the whole game without talking to him at the first tier. Yep. And mm -hmm. then after you've done everything, yep. Um, you come back to the first and you talk to him, and then you can go to each one of his areas in sequence and and actually do oh. his thing. So you can kill the Sunlight Maggot before you even talk to him that first time. Oh, okay, nice. And then he'll never uh, he'll never go insane. Genius. Oh. This is what I meant by like powering through the first of the game. Like the areas are going to be no no trouble whatsoever. Nice. Crystal got as far as the uh, the metal boar, and like rage quit hard. Metal boar wasn't that quite a ways long. Uh, I'm actually. Wasn't that? I'm I'm about to come up to him here. Okay, then I'm not. I must be thinking of something else then. Oh, yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I do, yeah. And that did it, huh? Makes me uncomfortable running with my bow out. I like having my sword ready. <laughs> Apparently, you can um, you can backstab this boar though. You can stick your sword right up his butt. Oh well, wow. I, I saw a thing saying try backstab, but yeah, I did not try it. I don't know if I can do it with my my curved sword, but. Hmm. Gotcha. I think you might need a straight sword for it. Crunch. Fucker. <clears throat> What happened? Just think. Did I think what just happened happened? Um, my strategy for fighting the boar is to stand behind the fire in the corner, and he okay. nails you to the wall. But then he just stands in the fire. But that doesn't okay. work so well when he nails you to the wall and kills you in one hit. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I'm gonna fight him. I, there's no point in. Like I can just run past him. Yeah, that's it. You're right. Technically, he's optional content. Man, these guys fucking hit hard now. Uh, just the skeleton dudes? Yeah, like the little, uh. Yeah. Skinless guys or whatever. Burn victims. Oh, uh, the Super Meat Boys? Yeah. Like they have a they have a real bite to their swing now. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. When they like just rapid shot, you, yeah. Yeah, it looks really brutal with a halberd. I can imagine. <clears throat> you uh, put them on a spit and then roast them over a fire. 
I wasn't sure you were going to make it up that ladder that time, old friend. Yeah. Okay, gargoyles ahoy. I guess Did I you should... light the bonfire at least? Oh, I'm going there. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. I think I dropped 300,000 souls somewhere back there and never went back for them. Yeah, I think that was um, bef sometime after the demon boss. Or before right. the demon boss, because I noticed afterwards you only had like 20,000. No matter. I'm actually, like I said, looking forward to the gargoyle fight, because that was the only fight that I had to bring in uh, human help for, I think. Mm -hmm. Not that I had to, but I just, he was there and he seemed godlike, so. I think I once summoned someone, I think maybe for the gargoyles. When I first figured out you could summon people, I tried it and the guy just died immediately, so I'm like, well, that was ah, okay. no fucking use. <laughs> and this was after I got invaded by a human and I summoned a guy, and the guy got killed instantly. I summoned another guy who was like the son of Zeus, and he lightning bolted Buddy to death, and then he went and lightning bolted the gargoyles to death. Hmm. I would dare say he doesn't afraid of anything. Okay. And I think he uh, 360 quick scope no scopes daily. Is his name Halo? <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's like X's in the front and behind it. Okay. Halo 420 Blaze it. <laughs> that's that's the one. Yes, I knew I knew that the Blaze was in there somewhere. So you're just gonna try to run away from all these bosses or all these guys? Yeah, it looks like it. I I, I could tell you what it looks like if you want, but <laughs> um, yeah, the mini bosses. If I can run past them, I will. Just because yep. anything that I can label as optional content, I can save for the next playthrough, and you know they're pretty small. Besides, yep. Okay. Oh man, I'm you. I did not think you were gonna get past those dudes. Yeah. So, are you going to take down the gargoyles in one go? Wow. You wait to see this, Jordan. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I was followed up to the fog door. I went to buff my weapon <laughs> with fire. Um, you're inventorying now. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, where are your fucks? I cannot find them. Um, that was my penance for running past everyone. They got angry and they caught up to me. I deserved it completely. Especially for being dumb enough to stand <laughs> like there with a ladder behind me. How he when he backstabbed you, he um like he took a moment's pause, like there was like a like a a, a pregnant breath that he took. Yeah. And then he uh went ninjutsu on your lower back. <laughs> yeah, release the anger. That's it. I didn't yeah. really need the buff anyway. I was just doing it uh, for an extra little leg up. But okay. There you go. And it's actually really lucky that I even make it through this area because you're not supposed to. You're supposed to get completely mobbed. Okay. Yeah, that's right too. Yeah, I remember. This is what's supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, you try to run past uh, everything and then a man stands in the doorway and stops you from moving. And then everyone catches up to you and the rave begins. <laughs> uh, the ho there he is. He's standing in the doorway, yeah. He means it. I'm just being lazy now, but... <laughs> uh, I think you could just hit it there, boss. What's that? If you want to clear it out on the way through, that would probably yeah, be yeah, cheap, that's, quicker. Uh, that's what I'm going to start doing is because uh, nice. there's no point in risking running all the way there and then yeah. just getting mobbed. Get one shot at any of these dudes. Yeah. It's not even worth the Estus using. Because if I run into Estus in a boss fight, I guess I have 99 humanity, but still. Humanity, using humanity in this game takes about as long as using Estus in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> wow. Love it. So you don't want that to be your main healing item. So the puppy's been chewing on a box corner now for 15 minutes, and I'm okay with that because it's a good babysitter. Yeah. 
better than a controller or like a laptop. Holy crap, cell phone charger, PlayStation 2 controller. Yeah. Um, it works. About six months back, our cat went through a phase where he was chewing through cords, any cords that he saw dangling. So he chewed yep. through three of Crystal's mice. She was not impressed. And like she'd have to buy headphones. one, then he'd chew through it again and such? Yep. Speakers, headphones, but he only chewed through her shit. Never mind. Genius. Oh yeah, I also can't pick up Firekeeper shards, because I have all five of them, and you can't carry more than any one type. Oh, okay. So, the only thing... I can't use any more either, I'm up to Estus plus seven, so... The only thing I could actually do with them now is give them away in... Uh, to gotcha. summons. This is going swimmingly. Come on, you fucker. There we go. Get gone. This is a waste of very expensive arrows. These arrows are like 500 souls apiece. <clears throat> Come on, you fucker. The game just randomly decides to move its hitboxes. <laughs> yeah, it do. very fine line between brave healing and stupid healing. You know, that's it. And sometimes it's easy to mistake one for the other. Yep. So I guess I will buff my sword now that I'm not going to get backstabbed. Actually, no, I'm going to go save Lautrec first so I can kick him in the face and watch him fall off a cliff. Okay, yeah, I would like to see that happen, actually. Um... Fighting him is actually quite pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, stand where you um, where you spawn in his world and shoot him with about four poison arrows. Yeah, I actually did that too. Do that five times and he's dead. But this is much easier. I wonder why he kills the the firekeeper. Yeah, good call. Good call. <laughs> Eight hundred seventy shots more than enough to kill anything that moves. Yeah. So yeah, gargoyles in one go. Well, last time was supposed to be gargoyles in one go until I got. Uh, my ass handed to me by a super meat boy. Yeah. <clears throat> I think these guys are actually weak against fire, so I'm gonna I'm gonna buff with fire. Mm -hmm. Though with all I know I'm rendering my weapon utterly useless. I don't think there's really anything else that I can use. Dark Souls one wasn't big on buffs.
as much as I despise when a brave heal doesn't pay off, it's usually pretty hilarious when it doesn't. But the problem, the problem I was having that fight, and he did actually kill me for whatever reason, um, is that whenever I would dodge, he dodged in a completely different direction than the direction I was holding the stick in. And I don't know why. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. Like I was telling him to dodge right, and he was dodging like forward and left. And that happened like um, six times. So mm -hmm. obviously I'm going to get killed. I mean, even if I'm doing really well and I'm way far ahead. Long story on, or theory on why he kills the Firekeeper. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's... Um, but yeah, that fucking roll thing was weird. I don't know if it was to do with like the slant of the roof I was standing on or like the weird juxtaposition between the camera and the angle that I was pointing to him at. But I kind of need to roll in the fucking direction that I'm pointing. I think it's because you tried to take the gargoyles in one go. Oh, okay, and that's just not in the game's programming. No, no, just cannot allow it. Well, I imagine I got pretty pissed that I killed the first gargoyle before the second even came out. Yeah. That's, uh, something that would have Too true. pissed off the developers utterly. You see me just start randomly pouring Estes out on the floor and... <laughs> <laughs> Falls into your pockets like spaghetti. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, we can't have this. He actually put up a fight. This guy in the stairwell? Yep. Oh yeah, you both drink her SS Minutes, cheating that they do it. Yeah. Lol 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 lol. <clears throat> okay, so the puppy's finally tired herself out from destroying all our shit, so now she's actually sleeping on the couch here with me. That's the That's nice good. part of it. Yeah. Problem is I gotta get up here in a minute and get another beer. Well, when you train your dog to get up and get beer for you, that's win-win. It is a retriever, so you know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm all about. Um, I don't think I've ever used a buff before in Dark Souls 1, but after using them religiously in the second game, you begin mm -hmm. to see their value. Okay, yeah. Though I have to wonder if, um, what the fuck are you doing? I was just standing there. If, uh, much like a permanent buff on your weapon, does it decrease your attack power? You know what I mean? I've been told that it buffs it, but, <clears throat> or like actually does net, net increase it. Okay. Only if they, I guess they're weak to it. But, you know, it's hard to say. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the gargoyles are weak against fire. Actually, pretty much everything in this game is weak against fire, even the fire things. I think the well, only thing that's me, not yeah. is. Um, centipede Demon? Or something like that? Uh, okay. Okay, come on. Give me a fucking break here. The fact that it wants to keep picking up items is real useful. Yeah. He's still doing that fucking roll thing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the curvature of the roof. Um, the way gotcha. his f feet are spread, it doesn't uh, line up quite right. Uh, if you're not careful, that fire can just stun lock you and, and one hit you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's what happened the first time, and it almost happened again a couple times there.
What I want from you is all this. Okay, so I guess I'm going to Blight Town next. Crazy to say that, like, it seems like Blight Town's so much farther in the game than it is, but. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I suppose supposed to do the depths and such first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's funny because the depths is one of those areas that I never really so much learned to do. Like, I never learned to do it quickly or well. Um, oh. So I was watching a video today on, like, you know, the dumb shit's guide to the depths. And it's actually really funny. Like the guy does a really good job with it. So I, then I went and watched all of his other videos because they're fucking hilarious. Oh, nice! So if you ever see like the Dumb Shit's Guide to Dark Souls, you should give it a watch. Sweet. Um, holy shit! You came out of nowhere. Oh. I guess I deserve that. Um, it's funny because he was fighting uh, the gaping dragon, and he brought in Solaire. <laughs> But then when the Gaping Dragon <laughs> killed Solaire, it started playing Tizanarkand. Like, the screen went oh. all black and white and, and zoomed in on his dead body. And then <laughs> the rest of the video was just him pulling out a giant sword and uh, lighting it on fire and avenging Solaire's death. That's awesome. Yeah. No, Tizanarkand's a pretty good song. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I would consider getting married to it. Yeah. Who would do that, though, right? That'd be kind of cheesy, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Finding someone who could play it would be fucking impossible. Yeah, like, who has the kind of cojones to do this, something like that? <laughs> Just saying. Just putting it in the universe. Yeah. I hear it's a good song to mess up, because, like, if you mess up, you can't recover. Yeah. Yep. It's a big gamble. Kind of like playing this fucking game. <clears throat> Might have to consider uh, Dark Souls music at my wedding. You know um, the, the Dark Souls Two, like the Majula or whatever. I love that music like so insanely much. Yeah, all of the uh, resting place music is is really good. Um, the one in Demon Souls, you rest at a place called the Nexus, and the song mm -hmm. is called Made in Black after the girl that you talk to to level up. Okay. And it's like super slow, calm. Uh, I heard that. Um, instrument. You should send me a link and remind me to check that out. Yeah, sure. I heard that that uh, was pretty good. Um, that Demon Souls, that the way you level up was the same as Dark Souls too. Yep. It made sense to kill those guys so they wouldn't come after me again. So true. <clears throat> this is all I wanted to do I was just open this gate. But two hits and <clears throat> they're wrecking you. Um, if you stay away from this area entirely, and you you go around, what's the way that you can go around? Anyway, if you don't go... Holy fuck. Of course. The one enemy that I run from. Um, if you don't approach the gate, it doesn't actually load. And you can... Oh, I know what I'm thinking of. Um, before the Taurus Demon, you can take the door and go down to Havel. If you have mm -hmm. the Master Key. So okay, yeah. You take the Master Key down to Havel. You take the Forest to Andre, the Blacksmith. And you come up on the other yep. side. And then when the gate loads, it'll be open. You don't actually have to pull the switch. Oh, okay. Uh, that blacksmith you're talking about, I, did I ever talk to him? The yeah. Blacksmith is yeah, the yeah, he's, he's, this yeah, guy he's right down here. Yeah. yeah. Um, fun fact is if you fight him, 
He's actually a boxer, and he crushes you with his bare hands. He doesn't even use his boxing oh. hammer. Nice. I respect that. Which one is uh, made in Australia, Devin? Fucking this one up hardcore. Get gone. Get gone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I forgot that you can't warp bonfires yet. Yeah. I guess the best way would be... You walked uh, into the fire like a boss, too, just so you know. I guess I can make this. Famous last words. <laughs> Instead of getting annihilated by dragon fire, I'm just gonna walk to the Taurus Demon. Holy fuck. You guys don't quit. I know it's quicker to walk down the bridge, but I get killed a lot trying to do that. <clears throat> Final fight in the Plague Town area. Okay, I vaguely remember the, the Plague Town. I only played through Demon Souls once, so I don't really remember a lot of it. She's the maid trying to cure all the blighted people in that area. Hmm. Y'all have to look that up. Say hello to Havel. Um, oh, I guess I could unlock this. No reason not to. Um, again, I consider Havel optional content, so I'm just going to leave him for now. Because, uh, Instead of him killing me seven times and it taking half an hour to fight him, um, that might be half an hour that I need to finish off the Bed of Chaos or the Four Kings. Oh, uh, will you have the uh, the shortcut for the Bed of Chaos? Yes. Um, if you look at my stats, Somebody, my uh, view status page, you can see I'm in Chaos Servant plus two, even though I just started the game. So I'll just be able to go ahead and open that. See how graceful I am? That is to say, not at all. 
this next fight gave me a hell of a time. I think it's because it was so early on in the game that I still hadn't got my sea legs under me. Yeah. It can make a big difference. And they get that stun lock in, and there's not much you can do. Like, I mean the boss. Oh Whatever yeah, the demon. Capra Demon. I remember you fighting the Capra Demon. You had a hell of a yeah, time with him. Yeah, he gave me a hell of a time. Um, this is one of the last hard fights you have to do before you enter the Eagle Covenant. <laughs> Eagle Shield Covenant. <laughs> of course, yes, of course. Our uh, savior, yes. But it, it would have made the fight much easier. Pretty gutsy healing. Yeah. Um, if they're going to get a backstab, they're going to get it. So. I think the next beer I have might be that Coors Light that I will have in tribute to this uh, monumental occasion. And I'm going to drink like the not going to church tomorrow because I'm a rebel like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put that on my until tombstone. you actually have to pay the piper tomorrow, but. That's it, yeah. Well, it used to go on Wednesday afternoons, and that used to be my thing to do, but um, with the puppy now, I come home every day I can. Anyways, that's just me and mine and my own problems. Um, tonight I'm drinking the opposite of beer, which is Gatorade. I see that. Um, just because You I know, didn't... I might resurrect mm -hmm. the drinking game when you fight Ornstein and Smoke, because I think it's going to be an ugly scene. Yeah, I like I, your confidence. I'm, I I yeah. wouldn't uh, I wouldn't blame you for making a bet like that. So. <laughs> and then you just start breaking hardcore in spite, like you could have done it first try, but you're like, I'm gonna fuck Jordan over, because <laughs> he just called me out on it. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe those fucking guys followed me all the way here from the Berg. That kind of pissed me off, actually. Is it any more unbelievable than those guys falling up the ladder and backstab <laughs> while you're doing your like spreadsheets oh, yeah. for dumps? Really, I should have expected that, though, because I knew they could climb ladders, and there's no reason for them to let me go like that. Um, this is what you're wearing. Tell me you're asking for it. Picture of Keanu with his eagle shield. This is what I was wearing when I got backstabbed. Oh, Genius. Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay, they've done it. They got me. I was... <laughs> Hoping that wouldn't happen, that they would stand in the perfect configuration to pin me somewhere and then stunlock me. That's the risk that you run when you just run past, past all stuff. the enemies. Yeah. Yeah. You were fine until the second and third and fourth showed up. Yeah. That's always the case, isn't it? Yeah. It was going great until it wasn't. It's the story of my uh, Four Kings fight. Yeah, I was doing great until the second, third, and fourth ones showed up. That was funny how I didn't have the the ring and you almost let me walk down through the uh, through the door. Didn't have the ring. Yeah, I didn't have Sif's ring the first time I made it to the yes. area. Yes, I I thought I'd seen you fight Sif. Like, or I, I oh, okay. thought you you told me that you went and fought Sif. It okay. Must have yeah. been someone else that you had fought, like optionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh no, he has the ring on. That's fine. But yeah, that would have been fucking hilarious if you had just that would have been so your, amazing. Your guts under you and just march right into that fucking hole and died. You're like, uh, Keanu, <laughs> what's going on? Keanu, Keanu, what <laughs> wah, wah. Yep. And I would have laughed. Just laugh. completely I, because paralyzed you know with he would have. Well, they would have walked off with such conviction, too, you know? Yeah. Like, all right, let's like, do this. I'm ready. You died. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Like, they do it like they mean it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've had enough of these fucking dogs already. And they're not even the ones that breathe fire. These assassins actually go down pretty quick if you uh, if you can land hits on them. For some reason, I thought you were going to say they go down pretty quick if you don't get bad stabbed by them. Yeah, that too. 
generally things die quickly if you hit them and they're not hitting you. Ah, that's the strategy. But yeah, Devin's right that uh, healing with my back to the enemy is not the smartest move, but it tends to be what happens when you are fleeing. Oh. You end up healing uh, with your back to the enemy. Mm hmm. Fucking throwing knives. Okay, I'm coming the stairs. That's not good news for anybody. Fucker. Uh, I don't remember ever spending this much time in the fucking lower berg. It's really only because they're hitting you like a tank. Yeah. I'm just trying it's to really unlock this shortcut. Really... Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, that is all you're trying to do. Yeah. But you see why I recommend against. Uh, drinking to this, I there's no way I can condone yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you think it's because you're uh, going through so quickly that um, like on a speed run that they're putting it to you, or is it? Yeah, it's because um, I like I, I get through the first time they killed me just before the bonfire, and I get mm -hmm. mad and feel like it's my God-given right to be able to <laughs> have this bonfire lit now, so I can just uh, okay, run yeah. to it and do it, and then they're just like, you know, you've fallen into the trap. We, we're waiting for you we to be down nope. to do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's exactly what they want, so. Just like they want you to heal right before the uh, boss, when the boss is, like, dead, and they want you to go for the final kill? Yes. Final swing? They're, they're waiting for it. It's what they were... It's actually what they were coded to do. They want you to run through <laughs> so they can fucking completely turkey stomp you. No remorse. Look at you getting smart now. Oh fuck, I just rolled into a fire. Did you just call me smart, Jordan? <laughs> you might have spoken too actually, soon. Well, you were, you were shooting them from a distance, a ways off and stuff. I'm like, oh, this is how you do it. I thought you meant because I started turning back to face them before healing. <clears throat> oh, okay. It was, uh, when you're picking them off with the bows and arrows. Standing next to the fire, healing. That's, that's <laughs> what's up. Yeah. Brave healing or stupid healing? You decide. So everybody says. Dogs are faster than before. Um, are they, though? I don't know. I feel like the dogs have always been stupidly fast. You boys coming to the party or what? He's coming. Come on, I know you guys can see me. You're right there. Ah, oh, you were fucking waiting for that. Like the harmony of a quartet. They get themselves in perfect timing and then they can stun lock you without even trying. I understand what I'm doing wrong. Not in general, but just for that moment. Um, yeah. I'm used to R2 firing arrows. It fires your secondary arrow in Dark Souls 2. Ah, uh, yes. So when I wail on R2 now, he just switches his arrow type back and forth uselessly. So true. So true. Yeah. It's little things like that that get you killed. I'm also going to break my sword in a minute here, so I probably, should probably swap out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do not let me forget that I'm running around with the Fire Falchion instead of a regular one. I mean, the flames should be my first clue, but... Glad you had that kind of faith in us. Um, that was a big problem I had in Dark Souls 2. I would swap out my weapon when it was about to break for a weaker one and forget to put it back. Ah, yes. That's true. Uh, 
but yeah, it's interesting to think that Dark Souls will never get harder on this playthrough. Like, this is the hardest it will get. Mm -hmm. Cause I have pretty much 99 of everything. They're like 999 fire arrows and poison arrows and pretty much the whole kit. Yeah, I don't think the dogs are actually going any faster. I think, uh, yeah, it's just been a while since actually seeing them. Oh, so I have to try not to fucking die here because that would suck. Yeah, ain't that the truth, huh? That'd be a little too insulting. I'd cry. Manly tears, but cry nonetheless. Oh, Jesus Christ. I keep trying to step off the ledge. <laughs> With authority? Yeah, because, you With know, I can't, uh, I can't actually do this in a decent amount of time. That would be a sin. Okay, and I do have to actually manually repair my shit now. Which is why, yeah, that was yeah. one of the weirdest things about for me coming to this game was having to do that. Yeah. But that's why my weapon was at risk, was because I forgot that I actually had to repair my shit. Okay. Yep. But now I know <clears throat> for the next five minutes until I forget again. Oh, yeah, I have right to go kill equipped? Lotric. What's that? I said I have to go kill Lotric. Oh, yeah, yeah, good call. I forgot all about that. Before I'm playing my free to play $50 game right now, so I'm watching the stream. Yes, I am part of the problem. I admit it. Hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, it's my sword that makes me... Yeah, that's right. I need a stabby sword, which is why I carry an occult sunlight sword plus five. Get up, you fucker. Oh. You're gonna play it like that, are you? What have we here? I don't care. Enjoy your death. So we fell down the stairs. And then yeah, what? I switch weapons. What's that, Jordan? He fell down the stairs and then what? Oh, he and then he backflips off into the den into his death. Yep. Nice. That was infinitely easier. But, but yeah, I did switch my weapons back. So why did you have to switch your weapons, anyways? Um, because mine was at risk. Remember? Oh, okay, gotcha. It's funny because I can just barely hear very tiny faint noises of the TV going through my webcam, out your your uh, stream, and then back into mine, into my headphones. Okay. Yeah, because um, I have the stream muted, so and I'm wearing headphones for the audio and the uh, okay and the mic. Yeah, no, I believe it. I totally believe it. Okay, Capra Demon time. So I'd be impressed because you are part of the uh, Eagle Shield Covenant? Um, he can still uh, throw you around if he gets a couple hits in. And it's these dogs that are the real problem, because they stop you from moving. See, they oh, okay. did it just there. Um, he stepped behind me, the dog stepped in front of me, and I couldn't move at all, and they just started wailing on me. So you end up they dying in a couple seconds, time. or killing the dogs, and then you're fine. But it's like the Gravelord Nito fight. When you're fighting Nito, it's not Nito that kills oh, you, it's yeah. the skeletons. No, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Okay. And that'll happen to me too. Those three skeletons, um, you have to kill them with a divine weapon, which is like yep. twice as weak as my regular weapon. Yep, very um, true. So if I can kill those fucking dogs, then I should be golden. But again, I'm pretty sure they're programmed to stand directly in the way. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think uh, well, the guy obviously hits pretty hard, but what killed me a lot was the um, how small the arena that you're fighting him in. Then yeah, yeah, like it's just so tight. Well, you get killed by the foliage too, like the leaves and That's everything. That's it, yeah. Away. Yep. And the camera, but that's again, it's got more to do with the size of the arena. Like if you're fighting mm -hmm. the gaping demon, you don't have to worry about the camera pressing up against any walls. Those dogs just like jump on my head. dogs make a formidable boss oh <laughs> uh, that's it yeah they're just having <clears throat> that gym. yeah so normally when you run up the stairs he gets confused and he takes like a good 30 40 seconds to actually make it up to you but he he there was no confusion here he just ran <laughs> right up after me and uh did what he does <laughs> and what he does isn't very nice nope Yeah, there's a couple of these fights that are based more on what you can do in the first 20 seconds than the rest of the battle at all. And there's, I find there's a lot of luck involved in these, like the Bed of Chaos. Yeah, that's it. No, you're right about the Bed of Chaos. Um, and I'm sure if I watched like professional like speedrunners and people do this game, then I could get better at it. But the people I watch are the people playing it for the first time. Yep. Because uh, after watching the speedrunner do uh, Dark Souls 2, like it really changed the way I look at the game. Yeah. Have you heard of Duke Skip in Dark Souls 1? No. Um, there's a way to skip the entire prison section in uh, the Duke's archives. It's got to do with mm. like when you take that first ladder up or the elevator to the first time you um, fight Seath, the one yeah. that kills you inevitably, um, if you can jump back down onto the ladder or onto the elevator and land on like the handrail, then it skips that whole section and the huh. library is actually open to you. Um, apparently it's really hard to do, but if you can yeah. do it, it's the most beneficial thing you can do for a speed run. It cuts okay. off like two and a half minutes or something like that. But if you fuck it up, then it's not worth it, obviously. Yeah. Very interesting. I will not be duke skipping. Because <laughs> I don't know how, and I want to actually do the, the whole game's content anyway. Okay, so this is what's supposed to happen. Where's the other dog? Oh, he's down there. Oh, I'm doing that fucking arrow thing again. Okay, so now the real fucking fight begins. <clears throat>
probably go up to full health here, here in case he decides to get smart with me. Let's say like when the regular NPCs are one-shotting you, then this guy should just wobble. Yeah. You can see how much of a ridiculously different fight it is with the uh, Eagle Shield Covenant on my side. Yeah, really, it uh, calms him down quite a bit. It's basically like fighting a big NPC, or a big, just regular enemy. I wish I knew where all the soul of a hero, brave warrior, and great heroes were, because I would just pick those up and nothing else. Okay, yeah. yeah. Holy fuck, you guys. <clears throat> That's another program thing. It's like Castlevania-level pre-programming that they want you to play the game as you would expect to play it and just walk into the room and they have them okay. all ready and set up, lined up to uh, get you stun locked. Uh, like they're hitting you before you realize there's something there, before you can get your shield up. Yep. And the next one's on you immediately. And then we'll come from behind you and join the party. The ones with fire are even fucking worse. Um, but if you can break their programming by like rolling forward and rolling back again, then mm -hmm. uh, it leaves them wide open. I'm completely incapable of using my bow and arrow now because I'm so used to using R2 to fire. That's unfortunate. I knew there was one more. <clears throat> Aiming is also much more touchy. Holy fuck, where do you come from? Jesus Christ. Oh, and this butcher? This is a woman. Oh, really? Yep, the butchers are females. So I'm told. How interesting. Oh, you just stepped on your table. Ruined a perfectly good meal. Okay, so... This is the smart thing to do first. Never actually fought this big rat just because it's so easy to cheese him from here. There's no reason to actually go down and fight him. Oh yeah, no, I've never fought the right either, like, I, I did what you're doing. I have to say, man, like, even though we had some tough hiccups, like, you're, as far as when I progressed, you're going way quicker. 
Yeah, and I farmed a lot of areas too, so. Yeah, this is how I expected it to go. Um, really, the the moral is when you're getting used to a game that you haven't played for a while, don't fucking start with the final boss. <laughs> Okay, so this is the part that I'm not completely familiar with. I'm just trying to get back to the bonfire now that I have the key. Nope. Fuck that up. Ooh, somehow made it over anyway. I thought the black spot was the gap, but it wasn't. I do need to do this because this guy will actually superpower the uh, the boss. Well, he's he's superpowering those rats anyway. I made it to the mage or whatever it is. Yep. I think this is the fight uh, that I was able to summon, buddy. That you uh, killed the loud track, whatever. Yep, you can summon loud track right beside where you can summon. Solaire. You can actually summon both of them. Oh, nice. Holy fuck. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, where is that going to send me back to? Firelink, I guess. Oh, wow. That's painful. Yeah, that's the shittiest part of this area, is that... Well, I'm trying to get to a bonfire right now, so. Yep. Uh, yeah, the two hits and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But I, I have to kill him for the boss fight anyway. Yeah, that's it. Like, there's no way you can. You know. You nailed it. But I guess the smart thing to do would be to search for the bonfire first. Yeah, I think that's actually what I did because you can get up to that area, no troubles. Actually, where you were at, I, I took the mage out from below, like from the bonfire fire mm -hmm. area. Okay. Whereas, um, like not, but you know, down lower, like I actually didn't get up that high before. My yeah, it's just like turning right instead of turning left or something like that. Um, all I did, Devin, was uh, go and fight that mage that powers up the gaping demon, and his rats came and killed me. Because when they're powered, they can kill you in two hits. You know, it's easier to use a bow if you can aim for shit. Hmm. Or so I found. Holy fuck. Come on up, because I know I'm going to have to deal with you. I forgot the butcher doesn't respawn. It makes things easier. Actually, why the fuck am I going this way? I should be going the other way. 
Oh well, I'll find it. don't want to fall down there. You can actually walk on that ledge. This is the way to the bonfire. Um, down this hall. Maybe. No, it's around here somewhere. Guys, done. Holy fuck! These racks think oh, yeah. big shit. Hey, you're actually almost at the bonfire too. I think. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. Yeah, I think because I remember farming this area with the rats. I think. The doorway I have to walk through. Yeah, the first time I played this through, I didn't realize that uh, you actually needed a key because I just happened to have it on me. Oh, okay. And that's why I led you to the door, because I'd never gone the other way. I'd never uh, come to the bonfire before killing that rat. So I remember okay. leading you there, and you're just like, um, the fucking door is locked. And I'm just like, <laughs> LOL. And you're like, I hate you. It's pretty funny. Um... So now back through here. You've gotten a lot uh, quieter. Did something fall? Something. What's that? Is something amiss? Uh, you got a lot quieter than what you were. I'm just trying to fucking recall where the fuck everything is. Like this is that area I that I'm nothing. not familiar with. Ten foot. Um. Okay, so this is the mage. So well, he's gone. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your fucking rats before you can buff them. Or are they gonna kill me? That would show me. Okay. You can all fuck off. Oh, there's one behind me. Motherfucker. Nope, he's buffing. I can hear the buffing. <laughs> okay. I actually have one of those Chandler's Tridents. You need one for the achievement. And it takes four okay. fucking ever to get them to drop one. I think that's all I need down here. And then the last thing I need to do is um, open that door. No, I didn't even do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell the money. Crystal stepped in the room and brought the smell of tacos with her, so she gets my affection. I can't remember these guys having so much fucking health. see anything. Okay, so now in the rat's chamber. That's where I want to be. <coughs> and then all 
have to do is open this door, and I can go and fight. Wait, there's a door I have to open, isn't there? Yeah. And we should be able to go straight to the gaping demon. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure out a, an efficient way to do the depths without bumbling around. Meh. I have 80,000 souls, we should probably spend some of them. Did you have, you had trouble with a gaping demon, didn't you, Jordan? Is this the uh, one you're fighting next? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't so much trouble as it was just a long fight for me. Like, I think I took him down first try, but it was like a 10 minute fight because I was dumb about it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he sold some nice things, but I guess not. <clears throat> you need a lightning weapon for the blobs. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, what I did with the blobs was uh, pyromancy. Hmm, that makes sense. Like one shot. Okay, I don't think there's really anything I need. I could buff my weapon with fire again. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now, because he would love for me to stand still. <laughs> oh my god! He killed me by walking. He took two steps forward and I died. <laughs> That's something else. It's the easy way down. Holy fuck. I see why they call it fucking NG plus six now. what happens when a dragon steps on you. Traditionally, yeah, but not usually in uh, in video games. Normally when a dragon steps on you, it just pushes you, pushes up against your hitbox and moves you away. Let's try that again. And that's the problem with these later bosses is that, you know, my armor is plus 10, like all the pieces, but they still have those moves that they'll kill you as soon as they can pull them off. Like, I don't even fucking want to know what happens if he lands on me doing that. But he's going to try. Stay on the ground, please. I think this is the first time I've actually had to put effort into this fight. Because he is not taking damage. Yeah, I'm doing barely anything to him. So true, yeah. But at least this will go quicker than me with my arrow trick that time. Yeah. I'm tired of him fucking leaving the ground. Like, uh, okay, all he's yeah. doing is stalling the fight. He doesn't get anywhere doing it. Mm -hmm. True that. It's like I have better fucking things to be doing with my time. Like fighting the bed of chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's the real time sink, huh? Okay, 
This is getting real old. <clears throat> What I need him to do is like his big face stomp move. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, true with the two hand is there's not a lot of blocking going on. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm also only doing marginally more though, so. I got me with this knee that time. Fucker. He would love to kill me right now. Absolutely love to. <laughs> yeah, he wants to. <laughs> He's trying fucking hard to. There is no way I'm giving you the pleasure. you come from <clears throat> but yeah uh, two handing was a good idea but eh, not a lot of point if he's only doing like a tiny tiny like you can't even see how much more damage he's doing so which is weird because normally it's a, a huge damage boost right so true to see how eventfully I can lose these 176,000 souls. He's trying. <laughs> Have you ever tried to relax? It is a paradox. <laughs> Apparently season two is this summer. Oh, really? I can't fucking wait. Yeah, yeah same here. Game of Thrones uh, comes out on April 12th, is season five. Yeah. I'm pretty hard over that, too. Although I need to get the uh, previous season and watch it over again because that's part of the ritual. Yeah, I actually haven't. Uh, you guys do it every season, right? We do, yeah. But I never did go back and watch them again. Crystal did once, but nice. I haven't seen like the first episode since way back when. We don't do it from the beginning anymore, but like because so the first season we watched that like three times. But other than that, like the other one, I'll probably just go back and watch the previous season. And that'll be enough. Mm -hmm. Like season three, I guess. But... Yeah, that makes sense. Although season two was pretty baller. Enjoyed the hell out of that. Okay, it would actually be quicker for me to kite both of you to the ladder over here. You actually have to come, Rowan. Really. I find they're a lot more likely to follow you if you can do a little damage to them. Okay, yep. Good call. But if I can get them to stand around here, then they'll just, like, walk off the edge. And they're fucking damaged sponges, so no sense in actually fighting them. <clears throat> Hate when he spews all over the floor, yeah. Um, I used to have a harder time getting away from it, but now it's pretty straightforward.
toxic and look at all the fucks I don't give. Ah <laughs> uh, man, you should totally should have cheesed it through the lower area. Yeah, I don't know. This is fine. A whale is fine too. Holy fuck, they hit like a freight train too. the status effects in the game in one area pretty much is there anyone down here who actually bleeds you oh those fucking moving bridges trip me out yeah toxins seem scary but really it, it doesn't do all that much so it's not a huge thing to worry about oh fuck I forgot about that I think that actually killed me the first time I was in Blight Town. I stepped on it, fell through the floor, and fell far enough that it killed me. Oh shit, and the Firefoxes. Here we go. Chrome is better. Yeah, I'm done. I think I might take a left turn um, at the moving bridge and see if I can make the jump over that uh, katana. Because if I can, then it puts me like right next to the bonfire. <clears throat> I have to decide now whether I actually want to uh, fight the guys going through or just try to run past them. And I should probably fight them because there's enough there that if they even start to gang up, like they mm -hmm. get two good hits in and I'm done. Yep, I I can agree with that. Especially those big fuckers. It's so easy to kill them too. You just kite them right off the edge. <clears throat> um, the only problem with that uh, brave jump to the katana, the uh, Ayawata or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, is that it's a tight jump, and if you don't jump at precisely the last second, then you fall to your death. So it's a gamble, but I also forget the correct way there, and I don't really want to fucking bumble around until I find it, so we'll give it a shot. If we get lucky, then uh, it'll cut some time off the stream. Come on, big guy. Yeah, I'm standing right there. <clears throat> yeah, he looks like he's going to follow me. Are you coming? Doesn't look like it. God damn it. Come on. Both of you. I won't have to deal with you. <clears throat> what are you doing? Just, just die. Just walk off the edge. Is he just like screaming? I think he actually is just screaming, you know? Sometimes you just gotta stand there and scream, I guess. Get the fuck over here. I don't know how he's still alive, but he is. I'm right back. Yep. Holy fuck. Okay. How are they still alive? It, like, they're standing on nothing at all. Okay, there he goes. Okay. That was fucking strange. There's like half a board there that they were standing on.
Okay, that's the jump I have to make. Uh, I can't fucking fight you with a bunch of toxic arrows coming out of nowhere. Just come up here. We'll do it here. <coughs> Open that victory cores light. Yeah. And I went to get the uh, cell phone charger, and my wife is asleep. It's eight o'clock on Saturday, and she is. I think she had a big day babysitting the pup. Mm. Okay, moment of truth. So I have to. Oh, there's a little extra ledge there too. Nice, you fucker. Where's that even coming from? Way the hell up there. Oh, he's just standing right there. Well, fuck you then. Pretty sure I've got like 99 of these, so... No reason not to. Okay, let's do something brave and or stupid. Ooh, gotcha. And the fire is right there. So the best way for me to go, as far as surviving, I can't see if there's actually land down there or not. I'm just gonna jump it. Good stuff. And paid off. You get a short uh, boost in, in stream time. So this area you usually just run past. Um, unless you get caught off by those fire dogs, you can usually get pretty far. And they follow you down, so you have to watch for that. Oh. Come on, I need you to move. Be back in a couple more. That's tight. Uh, I forget where the... Okay. That ladder's hard to see. And if you miss these ladders, you lose a big chunk of health if you're lucky. I should put these in my items because I'm not using grass. Since I've got the Coranthi ring. Oh, where am I going? There we go. Really should have the anti poison ring on, but I kind of need the defense boost down here now that I'm on NG plus six. All the enemies hit like a fucking truck. And poison's not that bad. Poison doesn't get more powerful really it does but not you know, it, it never poses quite the threat that uh, powerful enemies pose I think one of the bug enemies too but not sure there's dogs um, where the fuck is that there I know there's a ladder here oh fuck off whatever And I have to do this one. Because one of my precious falchions are over here. And I can't not get a falchion. The frame rate's dipping. Just struggling here. Okay, so I don't want to fall, because falling here usually ends in death. Even though it shouldn't, it does. You slide down the mud, and then it counts as a free fall. For whatever fucking reason. And then the bonfire is over 
here, I think. Is that right? Or is it the other way? No, it's the other way. Fuck. Um, but what I want to do is real quick toss on the rusted ring. So then I can flee anywhere. And again, really not giving a shit about poison at this point. Poison, toxin, whatever. Um, where the fuck is the bonfire? Okay, it's right there. I thought I had lost my way for a moment. Yeah, and the bonfires heal you of status effects anyway, so no matter. And now that I have that bonfire, straight to key lag, I guess, or quay lag. I don't even make a concerted effort to uh, not get poisoned. I just run straight there now. Ninety-nine purple moss clump, though. No fucks given. You're in Blight Town, you're poisoned the moment you enter. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, I think I'm going to keep the steel and protection ring on and forgo fire. Just because it's. for heavy hits, I get hit by most often. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. You got my undivided attention? Yep. And I uh, see so you're going for the boss battle. Wow, I just made it back just in time. Perfect. Yep. Fuck, I'm good at this. I don't like letting her out of my view just because if she lays down. Yeah, like that. Does the big old screaming mess or? A uh, big explosion. Mm -hmm. It's not something I want to be a part of. Holy shit. Well, Is that really necessary? just so you know, uh, I'm drinking the uh, the victory beer right now already, the victory course, so don't let me down. Okay. So we'll um, if you end. beat, I have to lean on the if, Ornstein and Smo, I will have the Gahan. <laughs> You're talking about first try? No, no, no. Otherwise, I'd never drink that sucker. <laughs> you the uh, modicum of faith, Jordan. Uh, I know how you, I gotta, if you lean on your heart, the, uh, lean with the elbow as us Maritimers do. Lean with the elbow, yeah. Get going. Fucking reach on her. Okay, I need to be out of the corner. Back out into open space, girl. Or thing, or whatever the fuck you are.
pretty sure one explosion will kill me. So. I'm doing my absolute best uh, not to get caught in one. Yeah, I, I can imagine it would kill you because even when it was on the first go, she did pass. And here's where she really wants to kill me. <clears throat> That's right, buddy. She wants you to go in overextend. And I did it. But it was worth it though, right? Because it works. Like, when you do it, it makes it look like a genius. Yeah. I could see her laying down, just getting ready to fucking feed me my own anus. But, uh... <laughs> did someone order their own anus? <laughs> I have, a uh, Anus here for <laughs> delivery. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do the stupid thing, right, Jordan? Well, like I said, like, totally, like, when it works, it makes you look, like, totally boss. Like, oh, I knew they'd go in for then. I knew that was the time to overextend. Yep. I mean, you know. And then when it doesn't, you look like fucking that jackass. Still hit it several times through Felchin. <laughs> like, and you know, you know when you, you miss it? Like, that's when you pour the uh, empty flask out. <laughs> yeah. I just had to check to make sure there was nothing in there. No, because that's, that's, I got the time for that. <laughs> Look at you, ringing the bells in one sitting. Oh, yeah. It took me like a year. Yeah, like a year to do that. What have we here? Are you the new Felton? I sure do. Motherfucker, I am Chaos Servant plus two. Out of my way. Oh, nice, nice. Are you, are you gonna not kill the merchant this time? Oh, yeah. look at you not kill him. <laughs> if that had been me, I'd be like, Get out of my way, I want that bonfire. Stab, stab. Am I not? I'm pretty sure I'm in the Covenant still, because I'm... It says Chaos Servant plus two. I don't want to enter it, and then it'll say, like, oh, you, you start over at zero. All I can think of is um, the club sandwich. I am in the club. Yeah, exactly. Um, I do want to show you guys something, though. I don't know how many people have seen this. Holy fuck, that's a lot of souls. Um, just kicking out. What am I looking for? <clears throat> the old witch's ring. You can actually uh, choose this as a, a starting gift, mm -hmm. even though it says no known use. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get to talk to her, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Not haunting or anything. She sounds like my wife. <laughs> so she thinks you're her sister who you just killed, and she makes you feel really bad for it, too. She's like, nice. you know, oh, I'm okay. I have you. I'm still alive because you're still around. So you're so nice to me. Cause she's blind, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, she's like blind and dying and handicapped. I think they prefer handicapable, but I got what you're saying. Okay. Um, well, like whenever you give her humanity and you have the ring on, she says like, oh, thank you. Key lag so much. I know that you're uh, looking at ah. me, and I'm so so lucky to have you. And you're just mm -hmm. like, I feel shitty. Where's the pup? Um, do you sell anything worth ninety thousand souls? Yeah. I'll just keep the ring. Fuck it. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so now is the journey back up to the Undead Parish. The winter of our discontent? Something like that. Okay. <clears throat> Why the human thought, of course. Uh, you know, I was thinking about that earlier this week. <laughs> Inception of what? But of course. But of course, as there is no other possibility. Oh, she uh, she tried to drink the poison of Blight Town to heal the denizens. Interesting. I thought she was just an old dying oh, wow. spider. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, um, and that's why I have the the old witch's ring is because I went and found it. You have to do like a bunch of stuff. I think it's like her, her into Iengi's quest or whatever it is. Anyway, I did all the stuff that you have to do for 100% achievements, and mm -hmm. um, during that, I ended up getting my hands on the old witch's ring. I'm also a ring whore, so I go for pretty much every one. Hey, don't blame me. No hate, mate. I rate 8 out of 8. <laughs> um, the funniest one that I saw recently was M80, pronounced matey. <laughs> M80. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Devin's just being perverted in the chat. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this without utterly fucking it up. We'll see how well that goes. Oh, like now you're trying to get. What's that? Now you're trying to get out of uh, Blight Town. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the first few times I played it, that ladder I just climbed up. Um, yep. I just missed it completely. Gotcha. It's really easy to miss. Mm-hmm. Is that poison or toxin? I think that's. Your health is going down kind of slow, so I'm guessing it was poison. Yeah. Oh, it must be both, I guess. I know, the noise is pissing me off, so... Yeah, it was just poison. <clears throat> um, okay, there's another fucking ladder here. I don't think I actually need to get this key, because I think the master key does it. But, I'll grab it anyway, just in case. And then off to Sen's Funhouse. Hurrah. Yeah, the uh, golem at the top, he's the only boss, or the only uh, video I think I ever uploaded that actually had my audio on it. Mm -hmm. And it was like hilarious. I, like every now and then I'll watch it and I'll still laugh. It's kind of a nasty thing to do, but... Yeah, yeah. Man, it was funny. I think when he picked me up and threw me off the ledge. Yeah. Like the jackass that I am. Um, there's actually a few people who met Havel the same way you did, and just walked okay. in and turned just as his uh, <laughs> yeah Crystal did. She's got that on. Uh, nice on tape as well. It's like uh, I feel like you're walking into someone's like and they're in the shower. You're like, oh, this is embarrassing. Well, she walked in on him from the, the stairs. Like okay. The actual way that you're supposed to meet him. Um, okay. And he just ran up the stairs and caved her head in. But hmm. there's a lot of people who, who walk in and they don't see him, and just as they turn, they see the dragon's tooth coming down on them. Um, interesting story. Once I came up all the way from the bottom of Blight Town and ran in here, mm -hmm. thinking that there was a small ledge here, but there's not. If you don't pull the lever first and you run in, then you're going to die. Uh, no, I thought that's... there was like a circular ledge inside that I could stand on, but there's not. So I died, and I was super pissed because this is right next to the the bonfire but that's dark souls ladies and gentlemen yeah it'll get you you know every time can't wait
wait to fight the four kings. Mm. That is by far what I consider to be the hardest fight in this fucking game. Like, it's absolutely miserable. Not counting the DLC, of course. Even worse than Ornstein Smell? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and, but, uh, well, I did not know that you felt that way about the four kings. Yeah. Remember how surprised you were that I took them down first go and how easy it was? Because it was just my very, very first th playthrough. You're like, wow, I forgot yeah. that these guys could actually be easy. Yeah, that's actually it. And it was just a preparation you had because. The hardest part yeah. for me was finding the correct loadout to actually fight them. Oh, okay. But once you nail that down, it's much, much mm -hmm. easier. So going to the Undead Parish, I suppose. See if there's a quicker way there. Holy fuck. You guys don't give up. I find it interesting that there's a sword inside every bonfire, or what looks like a sword anyway. Mm -hmm. Just seems like a strange thing to stab into a bonfire. I guess I might as well go the right way. Um, I wish I could have seen you play through Sense Fortress, Jordan. Yeah, like, um, well, it would have been neater to have you just, yeah, there with me because it's, I didn't have any trouble just to kind of, um, I stressed the whole time because I'm like, I'm going to mess this up and, yeah, that's what it was. Don't know why this bonfire is not lighting for me. There's nothing oh, does it think me. you're in combat? Yeah, there's nothing after me. I killed all the rats. Pretty sure I yeah. killed them all anyway. I would really like that bonfire. I don't want to have to walk all the way back here again. Are there any living rats down here? No, oh, there's one. Impressive. But it's weird that that would count as combat. Just go up the elevator. Yeah, that would have been the smart way to go. <coughs> uh, that, um, I knew there was a shortcut I was forgetting. What's that? It's the only time uh, that bonfire that you're just at. I think that's one of the few bonfires I've ever had trouble with, like as far as yeah. it not knowing that I am in fact. Yeah, I was trying to remember if there is a shortcut between Firelink Shrine and Undead Parish, and of course there is. But I'm just going the long way, because uh, apparently I have fucking time to spare. Oh Jesus Christ, they're going to send me back to the bonfire anyway. <laughs> They're not fucking around down here. Yeah, no, that's definitely the correct way to do it, is to go to Firelink and take the fucking elevator.
playing a level backwards is always easier than playing it forwards um, in the same way that doing like a, a paper maze backwards is easier than doing it forwards because it was designed to throw off people who are playing it forwards. You know what I mean? The enemies aren't even expecting you. They're not even facing the right direction. You can basically run past them before they even realize you're there. Yeah, the stream's going much better now that I've actually figured out how to play the fucking game again. Yeah, <clears throat> there you go, good on you, man. Tends to make a difference, you know? Yeah, it's really getting you there, I can tell. Just coming up on, not quite the halfway point of the game, but, well, maybe. Yeah, it depends on how quickly you go through the fortress, huh? I just want to tell you that I would like to drink some Gahan sometime tonight. Okay. Well, you know you don't have to wait on me for that. Oh, I don't know. I should I should just make it personal. Because yeah. I really do want to see you like, take this guy down quick. Like, I want to see how that works. I think you just want to see the effects of peer pressure, Jordan. You know, I am a big, big fan of peer pressure. Yeah, got me there. Um, I should actually be using my lightning falchion here. This is one of the few places where <clears throat> elemental damage uh, makes a very big difference. Taking down okay. about half the hits. Yeah. As long as I remember to switch back when I'm fighting things that aren't snakes. Too true, old friend. Too true. Are so good. Would you like me to put that on your tombstone? <laughs> Famous last words, right? That's the one. <clears throat> got me. I don't think they make tombstones for dying in Dark Souls, Jordan. If they did, there'd be a granite shortage. Yeah, yeah, it would really clutter up the place, though. <laughs> um, I'm not actually going to do any of the uh, optional stuff this playthrough, because it'll slow me down more than I can afford. Like, I'm not doing a Solaris quest line or a Sig a Sigmire, or whatever his name is. <clears throat> or the four uh, happiness demons waiting in the basement.
remember the lightning falchion doing more, but again, there's that big difference between NG and NG plus six. Oh, I went for it. That was stupid. <laughs> that was a stupid thing to do. I find myself holding B while climbing ladders. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't do anything. And then being and being disappointed with the result, yeah. Same yeah. here. Yeah. I've been pampered. Why did you uh, get hit by that um, that axe thing in the air, anyways? Because I uh, tried to power through, and it's specifically designed not to be able to power through. You can't get through oh, okay. all three of them by running straight. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought I would be special, but... <laughs> why they'd make an exception for you? Yeah, there you go. Oh shit, this is where I want to be. I don't want to be fighting a boss. Although I'm going to, because I'm here now. I don't know if I'm aware of this boss. Um, there's three of these giant things. This is the one that uh, opened the gate. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 yeah. And there's one that throws cannonballs, and there's one that loads them into and the floor. You don't cheese them with arrows from a million miles away? No, no. Wow. Look at the big dick on you. I should be two-handing, but again, I'm not a smart person. There we go. As Forrest Gump would say, I am not a smart man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you dropped something. Okay, there we go. Titanite chunk. I'll take it. <clears throat> yeah, you can actually kill the guy who loads the stones into the the big stone ball maze thing. Yep. And stop them moving. Which is nice. So where the fuck? I think you just step off the edge here, don't I? Yeah. This is where I wanted to be. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Get on. Get going. No time to stand around switching weapons. Thumbing through your inventory. Well, I don't know how you pa walk past that lizard man without falling to uh, the pit below, but you did it. Practice. Okay, I definitely remember doing way more damage than I'm doing now. Oh, no, too far, too far. Back in. I like to look my enemy in the face while I'm healing. <laughs> Stare at his eyes as you pour that empty flask out. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Or just get killed. Tell me you Either didn't. Way, it's fine. Oh, I'm fucking about to if this keeps up. Maybe there wasn't a point in switching Felchins out. I thought it did more damage, but... I seem to be having a hard time actually taking them down. I'm seeing a lot of fail on the screen right now. Yeah. They ganged oh man! If you... Oh, did that? Did another one come back for you? No, just one. Ganged up on you. You know how this game works. <laughs> I do. I do. Come on, big boy. Where are you? Don't make me waste this trap. So go fuck yourself. I'll take my chances. Take your business elsewhere? Yep. Ooh, I think I made the wrong move. We're gonna find out. Power! <laughs> I thought I had it. I did not. Oh, like, did you. Was your timing way off, I take it? I'm well. Watching. 
normally what okay, I do yeah. there is as soon as the ball goes by, if you run, you can make it. But he, You're supposed to run down, aren't you? You can, but you can run up too. Okay. Um, but he yeah. stumbled me before I started running, so... Uh, there you go. And that's when things went awry? Yeah. I think the lightning used to work on the lizard men. Like, it, <laughs> it used to do, like, twice as much damage, but now that they're fucking <laughs> crazy high... I don't know. Now they have no more difference. to give you? Yeah. But I think just the damage difference between Falchion plus 15 and Lightning Falchion plus 10, it's negligible. So I don't know. That's my excuse anyway. And I already have a whole list of those going, so... The most important thing is that you believe it. Well, you can backstab these guys, too. Forget about that. Yeah, you can. And uh, I'm a big backstab fan. I know you're not so big on the Church of Backstab, but... Yeah. It's a lot of work. Like, lining it up mm. and getting it perfect and getting behind them, pressing the attack button, waiting <laughs> for the secret to play. <laughs> That's it. I mean, that's that a lot of work. <laughs> so much effort when I could just uh, have that kind of time, huh? hit them a hundred times while their shield is up and uh, then run. <laughs> Surely this guy gets it. Okay, let's fucking try this again. I know there's a dude coming from behind me. <laughs> Take your time. Where the fuck is this thing? Hurry up. Is it done? It's like pointing in a different direction now. I know I didn't move it because I never made it that far. Okay, I'm just gonna kill him this time. The Church of Backstab has answered my prayers. <laughs> nice. After 35 excuses now. Bam. We, you should have like uh, a, an excuse counter in the corner that uh, <laughs> dings up. Um, run it right next to the death counter. You'll see they're actually kind of similar. Nice. Yes. There you go. Yes. In Magic the Gathering, we have a punt counter. <laughs> you punt the game away. Yeah. Mulligan counter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then there's this nonsense. And he usually fucks me there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm not comfortable with this. Oh fuck. That fucking walkway is way too goddamn thin. Okay, so let's see if I can't fuck this up. There I need to go, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully not thrown by a fireball. Good stuff. We have the bonfire. <clears throat> Was there ever any do? <laughs> you mean this hour or? <laughs> <laughs> Do up the shortcut. Try not to fuck up this jump. There we go. And I don't think there's anything I really need to buy from this guy. Though I will browse your where is just in case. Yeah, he's good. Got everything I need. Good stuff. Nothing at all. Good on you for making the jump, though. 
Yeah, I've made it enough times and failed it enough times that uh, I generally have a pretty high success rate at this point. Really? I am not buying what you are selling. Go unlock the single most important shortcut in this entire fucking game. Man, it sucks not having the Lord Vessel. Especially after Dark Souls 2, where you can warp right from the very beginning of the game. Yeah, for sure. Picked up everything, and you got mad at me for doing so? What is that? Picked up everything. I don't remember that. You mean like in the under the fireballs? I don't remember watching you play that. I know my BFFs are waiting for me at the bottom here. Hey, good to see you again. See you later. That fucking axe swings up and hits you through the cage. Alright. <laughs> uh, before the Iron Golem, I actually have to fight the big dickhead there. Um... Forget why. Pretty sure there's a reason why. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm gonna watch Kyle prick hard on one of the easiest bosses in the game, then I'll get up and get you nice tea. One of the easiest bosses in the game? His skin is made of iron, Jordan. <laughs> uh, How is that? Well, fair? He's well, you saw it. it took me three goes on yeah. the first try. Uh, well, the because I was a jackass. The trick is getting him to walk Don't... off the edge or stumble off the edge. Oh, okay. See, I I figured if I led by example, like by going off the edge both times, that he would follow suit. But yeah. nay nay. The point him hiding down here is to miss his big freak out when he throws it. He's gonna throw it, and I don't want to be here for it. Just throw your tantrum. There he goes. Two-handed height. <clears throat> One of the easiest bosses in the game, he says. I don't know, for some reason, he, he even though he killed me twice, he just seemed somewhat easy. Well, he's easy until he picks your ass up and throws you off the edge. You know that. Yeah, like, I mean, I was all talk until he did that to me. <laughs> I felt like I was, like, at WrestleMania when he, like, picked me up and threw me down. Yeah. Fucker. So are you going to get him to fall off the ledge, or are you going to uh, lure him to the center and then hack the bone? I typically go for the center, just because... Uh, yeah. More consistent? Yeah, and I know what a prick he is when he uh, grabs you and throws you. Yeah, true. I remember like when I got him fought him here in the center and he picked me up and threw me down, I was so happy about that because it meant I was dead. Yeah. That's exactly it. I want you to continue the strategy of healing next to the ledge. I like it. <laughs> but uh, from over there I can't look my enemy in the eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're also going to have trouble looking him in the eye from the bottom of the pit. That I am. You know, for some reason, I was never great at the double drink. I would either I usually just wail on the drinking button and then do it three times and then yeah. wonder why I was dead. You actually have to tap the button as he's doing his second drink. 
So there's like a good second and a half between button clicks. Okay. I don't remember the boss sitting down this early in the in the fight. It's because I'm two handing a Falchion plus fifteen. Like I'm absolutely rocking this world. He just had to sit down and reflect on the universe for a minute. Exactly. It's too much for him. The utter power of this tiny little sword. I think he's actually just amazed that the eel shield is on your back and not doing any purpose. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, I was just gonna say I expect him to pick me up and throw me off the edge. But he just threw me into the center. You got lucky. I was gonna muse on uh, how surprised I was that he hadn't picked me up yet. Actually, I'm just gonna fucking oh. shoot you from here. You have no health left. <sighs> Not going back in there. Okay, yeah, so he just body slammed you down there, and uh, he declared himself winner of the Royal Rumble. Look at his health. It's not a yeah, no, man, I see that. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, buddy, I'm getting excited. I can taste the Gahan tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, next week. Mm. Something interesting um, is that there's actually a statue. I don't have my binoculars, but there's a statue of Ornstein in this hall. And then okay. in the opposite end, in the other hall, there's a statue of Smo. So I did see that, actually. Yeah, I did notice this. Just a touch of foreshadowing. I'm gonna go get the wife a glass of iced tea because you didn't brick hard. Yep. I'm right back. There's not much content to miss here. A gargoyle or two. This is one of those very block heavy bosses. You're kind of fucked if you don't have a decent shield. So at least I find. I didn't like that. There we go. Okay, so now we go play fucking tightrope walker. I'm gonna get this demon tight knight first though. Nothing wrong with some free Demon Titan Knight. Oh, I thought that was a ladder. It's just bricks. It's like I don't remember any ladders down here. And the Estus. Well played. Holy fuck. These guys don't fuck around either. Even the knives take a big old chunk. <clears throat> I really can't see getting hit by a knife from like 50 meters away doing that much damage to a person. Especially a knife moving that slowly. Okay. If I can fuck this up. I both like and dislike that there's a portion like this in Dark Souls. I like it because 
it's a different game type like you, you oh the platform the, yeah the the tightrope walking yep you can't get through it just by uh grinding or being a cheesing asshole yep and i find i didn't mind this part because it was based on skill and not luck exactly it's funny like you um, had to be controls before i used to think that you had to jump down onto the chandelier to get it to fall but if you do that okay. it kills you but you just yep. have to cut the chain I gotcha. Yeah. I'm not sure how I got the chandelier down, but it was down. Yeah. Um, typically, you you end up fighting a guy on that little platform and. Uh, oh, okay. Hack it down. Hack it by accident. Yeah. I decided that me being the smart man I am, because I have no beer in my hand right now, that I will drink the Kahan to ease the pain of watching you fight once in a. Smart man. <laughs> Doesn't matter one way or another. Uh, so my buddy that got back in Dark Souls 2, he beat Orncina Samo in the second try, and it really kind of hurt my feelings. Crazy. He said he would have had it first time, but Solaire died. Okay. Yeah, well, if you're using people, I mean, I can't it's really still compare. like, uh, I don't know why I didn't actually bring someone in for my time through, because I fought him enough times, but... There's a statue of Gwynlin, too, for uh, Guinevere. Chesty LaRue? Yeah. That's the one. Busty Sinclair. Busty Sinclair. Okay, so yeah. now I have to fight a gargoyle after the tightrope walk. But if I do it, I get a bonfire. Oh, well, bonfires are good. I can see a shadow coming at me. Oh yeah, I forgot about fighting the gargoyle down this way. This here. Don't know how you missed me. Oh, it's because I'm on a lower step. Nice. That was much more forgiving than that fight usually is. Usually I actually run down the stairs, try to use the bonfire, fail, and then have to fight him in that uh, chamber. Gotcha. The breasts are a lie. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They really are. Now I'm going to make this wall disappear because I'm a magician. Why the fuck don't I have my good ring on? Uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Poof. I'm not actually fighting her yet, though. That would be optional content and unnecessary for the sitting. Although she's one of my favorite fights, um, especially for the music. That music is so utterly creepy, especially for an intense boss fight. Okay, nice. <clears throat> and a trippy boss fight, too. It is a trippy fight, I'll give you that. Um, I think actually the smart thing to do is to kill Gwynvere, but I typically don't. I don't know why. I guess I just like sunlight. But if you kill her, then all you have to do is take out the two uh, two guys waiting in the dark world or whatever, the dark version, and then you like don't have to fight any dudes anymore here. Though then you can't grind them for items and souls, but I don't know. Seems like Gwendolyn is a guy, but he self-identifies as a woman, I think. Yep. And we wouldn't want to trigger anyone on this stream. Um, Gwendolyn, uh, more specifically, was raised as a woman because Gwen only wanted daughters. <clears throat> well, you trigger me every time you say Bed of Chaos, so we're well beyond that. <laughs> Oh, see, I didn't know. So next time, before I say those words, I'll say trigger warning, and then I'll say bit of chaos, and they'll make it all better. Yeah, that's how that works. I'm <laughs> glad you're uh, so considerate, Jordan. I know. I'm I'm practicing to be a social justice warrior. <laughs> social justice crusader. Yep. Um, have you purchased your fedora yet? <laughs> I am tipping it right now. Okay. I'm glad you're not on camera. <laughs> 
Tipping intensifies. Tipping intensifies. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you guys being just in here. Just making sure you guys know. Is there like some sort of implication in there, like so that we're not like beating off to it? Wait, what? To Gwendolyn? Sorry, I'm having a hard time fighting these gargoyles. They're really fucking. Uh, it says Gwendolyn is a guy. Just making sure you guys know, and it's like, would, it's like you know, just make sure you know in case that you pledge yourself to Gwendolyn that it's a guy and not a girl, and therefore can't well, be enjoying that shit. When I played Dark Souls Two. I hopped in that coffin because I wanted to see what would happen, and then it changed me to a woman, and I did not realize that I was a woman for half of the game until you guys pointed it out. It's I like, think it's because you weren't checking your privilege often enough. Okay, I see. How do I check my privilege? Is that in the stats menu? <laughs> you know, I've always been told to check my privilege, I just never have gotten around to yeah. it. I don't know. I didn't really put any levels into privilege, so... I guess that's why I could play half the game as a woman. <clears throat> there you go. Um, but yeah, and I took my helmet off and long flowing locks and beautiful eyes. But uh, I was just like, eh, it literally doesn't matter enough for me to put the work in to go back there no. and get in the coffin and change it. Like, I, I don't care. It's zero difference, yeah. Um, That's why people were making fun of the character creator for these games, because you spent the whole time as a corpse anyways. Yeah, or uh, with a helmet on. Yeah. Um, I actually recently started a PC Dark Souls character, because a few of us from the office are going to play it through, and I made okay. a woman. Okay. Because I felt like it. I played through the entire Dark Souls 1 seven times as a man. I might as well uh, check my privilege and, uh, <laughs> you know... That's it. Check my privilege before I wreck my privilege, as it were. Ooh. Okay, you guys can fuck off right now. I don't need your shit. Oh, fuck. What? I've never seen that. The big old giant followed me through the doors and uh, immediately wrecked my shit. Okay. Call that the privilege checker? <laughs> <laughs> the privilege checker, there you go. Oh, and did they do it as you had the bow and arrow up? Because that's always a prick. Oh, they did too. Yeah. <laughs> See, the privilege, privilege is uh, walking by him and not having to fight him. So that's right. He checked my privilege by following me and kicking my ass when my back is turned. Yep. Now, do you feel oppressed? Oh, I'm always oppressed. I'm playing fucking Dark Souls. There you go. Well, I will get the Templar fired up, and we can go on and blog about it. Yeah. Though not as oppressed as uh, when I played the PC version. No? Because I'm a woman. Uh, I get a PC... Oh, no. I had it for a minute. <laughs> I lost then it. he moonwalks away. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> just, I'm just going to moonwalk out of this. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly what happened there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Dig deep, boys. <laughs> Dad, only one of them's real. But which one? <laughs> oh, I knew you guys were going to be pricks about this. Is this where you can take the arrow to the chest? And stop being an adventurer? I didn't make it that far. Oh, no? I took four lightning spears to the chest instead. They just wanted me to... You called it a day? They wanted to save me from arrows and from my own privilege. Okay. <laughs> you have just been liberated. Yep. Feels good, man. All that oppression weighs down after a while. Um, what is it? Linkler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, Even emancipated from your inferior genes? Um, what's his first name? Abradolf or, or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Linkler. I'm so confused. On the one hand, I know that, you know, black people deserve rights to vote, but on the other hand... <laughs> yep. Yeah. It takes a kind of a smart mind to figure that out, huh? What, Linkler? Not yet to come up with that concept, or it seems like the either genius or moron would come up with that. Yeah. And, uh, 
It seems like a like a South Park level. Like it looks very rudimentary, but it's actually quite deep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is quite deep. Yeah. I think you just like turning that clock wheel. Oh yeah. Well, it I just uh, seems so you... Now you're gonna go find some sort of enemy that will help you get transported back to the bonfire. Yeah, well I got by the privilege checker and he he <laughs> is now coming after me because I need to check it. Okay, well we, we let me know when we can mark the box as checked. Okay. But if I if I kill the privilege checker, was my privilege checked? Or do I become the oppressor? I think that makes you the oppressor. I think that makes you some system, and then you need to okay. uh, reevaluate your life choices, I guess. Attend tolerance camp. Tolerance, that's what you need. You need some of it. Normally I can just run by him and he doesn't follow me in here. Weird. Why am I still using Moonlight? Uh, I think you're just stereotyping now. Yeah. It's like the first, like, NG plus four. And before, it never came through the door. Maybe. <clears throat> I think he knows you're trying to do it in a timely manner. That's what it is. Probably. There's a line in the code that reads your facial expression and <laughs> detects how quickly you're trying to play. This game Checks has Twitch male for... protagonists. Checks Twitch for how many people are following you. There you go. Yeah. Male and female if you're playing Dark Souls 2. There you go, you can choose at will. Okay, so the way oh, I yeah. normally do this is I kite one at a time, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> oh man, love it. Shit lord. Good term, I forgot about that. Good, good term. I love it. Yep, shit lord. Revolution love 60, it. shit lord. That's pretty great. Okay, so I just want the one. Just the one. Just get get out here. Come on. Come on. Yep. A little closer. Fuck, I hate these goddamn gargoyles. Eat my male privilege. No, he's not moving. I try to push them off the edge, but... Holy fuck. You just couldn't wait your fucking turn, could you? You know, getting pushed off the ledge, uh, that goes both ways. Yeah. Well, I find them very slidey. Like, I okay. think it's the way they yeah. use their feet. They're designed yep. to be very light and you can push them around. Or they just jump backwards off the edge. That happens. Oh, wow. He just smacked down you, man. Yeah, I'm waiting for this guy to just kill himself. Come on, you're standing on nothing. Get out of here. Go. Uh, yeah, you, of course. Okay, let's go. Well, I see what you mean about standing on nothing, yeah. <laughs> so, now comes the worst fucking part of this whole goddamn game. I thought those were the four kings. No, no, no. This is, this is worse than the four kings. Um, some people just waltz through it without any troubles at all. Oh, that's... Okay, whoops. Charming. Kick him. Yeah, that would've made sense. Yeah, kicking him, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I will say this one, yeah. You're right. Um, I've seen people that have, like, no trouble with it whatsoever. I don't think you did either, did you? You just kind of walked through No, it. I, I did. Yeah, I just walked right through it. Okay. But, um... Eagle Shield can't kick with it. Yeah, true. I think I walked through it, though, because I was just using, like, um, like thousands of years of white male oppression, and that just okay. kind of made me immune to the arrows. Well, I just got sense? lucky and had the thing that I wanted to happen. The guy took a step forward me and then fell off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. But that easily could have been, like, another 30 to 45 minutes of repetition flailing and failing yeah um i actually don't think i have a kick animation all i have is well kick animation i have this you slice and then do a backflip but uh, i do have a shield bash so that's a little slower but 
Yeah, both of them change. Um, the sword, um, my sword, if I was using a different sword, I could kick. And if I was using a different shield, I wouldn't be able to shield bash. So there's it's two different axes. Okay, and I think I can actually blow through this without too much trouble. As long as I can fucking um, where to go. We never talked to Solaris, so that's why he's not here. I think. Yep, that's true. Um, I didn't see... In the interest of saving some time, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't see the reason to uh, to spend the time on it, so... This is a story, necessary story only run. Oh fuck, I should go back on the other side, shouldn't I? Open up that shortcut. Yeah, sure. Well, will you need the shortcut? Do you plan on dying? Fuck, they plan for me here. Why not do the stairs jump scare? Yeah, I fucking knew you were gonna do that. Oh, wow, he took you in the chest. With this. Um, those two enemies there, you can actually parry them both at the same time. You can parry them both with one parry hit. Oh, I guess there was really no point in doing that. Maybe I was thinking of the next door. But it looks badass as hell when they both swing at you. And you parry them both nice. with one swing. Okay. Um, you can only repost one, but. And I know there's you can jump off the spiral staircase at a specific point and make this a little shorter, but. Um. Uh, I just do it the way that I remember it, the way that I know how. Uh. Which even still is a little a little fuzzy. You can parry two dicks at the same time, but how many can you repose? It's <laughs> a great question. One that I think we're gonna find out when I fight uh, Bert and Ernie up here. Uh, uh, I can't wait to get the Gahan in and around my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll give you the first go. But if you don't take him down, the first go, I'm hitting the bottle. Okay, last time I played, like, my NG plus 5 playthrough, I beat them on the first try. Alright. So, I have 230,000 souls that I would like to get rid of, please. Ye of little faith. No, I just don't want to fucking carry them around anymore. Gotcha. I'm gonna go talk to the, uh, buddy? Yep, I've got him here in front of me. I have 73 Twinkling Titanite, holy shit. That's a little excessive. Moonlight arrows. Holy shit, they're expensive. 100,000 souls on moonlight arrows. There. I guess I don't need to buy bolts. I've never used a crossbow before. Oh, yeah, I came down here to open this. Definitely don't want to forget that. <coughs> Um, I could run down to the bonfire, but I, well, yeah, I definitely should. I'm just going to bonfire real quick here, just so I don't have to go through the entire fucking castle again. <coughs> Did you see that Brianna Wu's game got greenlit on Steam? I didn't know Brianna Wu uh, published a game on Steam. What's it called? <coughs> Okay, Revolution 60. <clears throat> I might give Are you bonfiring shot. here so in case you die so that you'll have a shorter run back in your eyes? Yeah, because um, 
Uh, well, I always try to bonfire with the shortest runs because if I start back at the beginning of the castle, then I have to go through the whole castle again. But because okay. I just opened that shortcut, it makes more sense to bonfire here. Well, that's how I did it, isn't it? Was the long way around. Although, if you if you do that stair jump thing, like if you jump off the stairs onto the other level, which I never quite mastered exactly where to do it, um, okay. it is actually a lot quicker. But I, I don't foresee dying a lot in this fight. I think it'll be fine. Beautiful. I love the confidence. Yeah. This coming from the guy that died on like the Black Knights leading up to the final boss like a dozen times. Getting used to the controls <laughs> I, again. I know, man. I know, man. And uh, you're uh, no scoping more, and I think you've blazed it already. So. Yeah. I think it should be fine. Incomplete high school project. I love it. <clears throat> I'll probably still play it because I play everything. Um, I buy everything, I play everything, I try not to form too many uh, negative opinions on buy. the things that I play. Because a lot of games okay. are, they look like high school, fucking incomplete high school projects. I know my first couple are probably going to, when I complete them in fucking 2027. I like that uh, tweet you put out probably a month or two back, it was like a retweet, about how like... How about an indie developer uses um, an inspiration other than nostalgia? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kind of stuck with me. So do you really run by all these dirt bags? Um, typically, yeah. After nice. fighting them enough times. Doing the arson spell fight. <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh god. Oh god. Get gone. I don't want to be standing here. I don't want to be wasting this Estus either. Yeah. I'm confident, but not that confident. Let's do this fight with four Estus. <clears throat> oh wow, you're just getting your privilege check day and night. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is their profession, so. Yeah. You know, I, I hear that, that if you, like, take a women's studies course, you can become a professional privilege checker. <laughs> It'd be great to have that as a title. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's uh, Dr. Reed. I didn't go to university for uh, 12 years for Seven. privilege checking yep. to be called Mr. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have to remember how I actually fought these guys. I didn't actually. I think you uh, killed Smo first. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> actually. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Pretty sure I had a shield. Don't want to two hand this shit. Okay, so. This, this fight is actually triggering me right now, like, it's bringing up some <laughs> bad memories. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. I didn't even use the eagle shield. Yeah, I actually did use the eagle shield, didn't I? I you finally convinced me. I, no, yeah. did you? No, I think you tried it first without it, and then you went back for it or something? I don't know. I don't even think I went back for it. I don't, I don't think I was that smart. I think I, uh... I didn't grass shield it up though, I used a different shield for that. Maybe it's one that did like a hundred percent block, but you know. I think the stamina rate on it was garbage, so. Oh man, so many bad memories. <laughs> so long in here. Yeah, they're tossing me around like a rag doll. Yeah, Smo really kind of came and. Yeah. They do make it their profession. Mom, you can call oh, wow. Room for me. Yeah. I like how um, Ornstein gets stuck behind Smo and lets his flares. Yeah. Oh, they're good pals. 
There you go. Not really. I think the lore is that they're actually like enemies or something like that. Everybody hates them. And you're. Because uh, he's an executioner, and what's one scene do? Dragon Slayer. Oh, drag. Oh, that's what he does. Gotcha. But there's not many dragons left, so we either see they're out of the job or he did his job immaculately. There's actually only one dragon left, um, Seath, and I'm about to kill him. Oh, okay. So. Dragon slaying better than the fucking dragon slayer. So you oh, killed the dragon slayer and the dragon. Is does that make is that ironic? Am I using that right? Well, that makes me the dragon slayer and the dragon slayer slayer. Um, Ooh. I figured out that you have to hit them to make their health go down. Oh, you, you if actually okay. have to swing and hit them, like not. Right swing. now, the uh, Ornstein's health bar is behind your head. Yeah. And it clearly says their job title in front of their name. I just was too dumb to read. Yeah. Uh, don't be hating. Oh, there you go. Wow, now you're doing damage to Ornstein. Yep. You're in a corner, which still can't can, be though. good, but... Yeah. Now I get the fuck out of there. He just points that hammer at me like a blade. I know it's coming. Oh shit, I don't want to be here. Ran in the corner? Yeah, I, I backed up into the like the main hall and ran out of pillars to hide behind. Oh, uh, okay. I suppose you can hide behind the rubble. Orn's doing, or Ornstein's doing a Superman thing. <laughs> oh yeah? I just got done watching Smo do the uh, hammer time on you twice. Yeah. Oh no, you're up in that main room. Yeah, that's bad. It's bad. Yeah. It's not where you want to be. Why aren't you healing? There you go. <laughs> oh man, he's glitching out there. Ornstein. I just want Ornstein to get fucking close to me, but he. he and Smo to be farther away from you? Yeah. But well, he keeps getting stuck behind Smo. Yeah, he does, yeah. You're right. And I can't take my eyes off either of them because uh, no, don't no. know how that story ends. <laughs> Tragedy? Absolutely. Okay, just fucking chill for like two seconds, both of you. <clears throat> I feel like if you take this fight down the first go, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to trash talk anymore. I'm sure you'll find it in your heart. <laughs> I'll, di I'll uh, dig down deep. Dig deep. Yep. Come on, boys. Take a step apart from each other. <laughs> you can handle being away from your partner for a few moments. But this is how the fight goes. Like you, you don't yeah. take a single step um, in a direction that you're not completely confident will put you. When you uh, can fires, do they does it continue on through uh, new games and stuff? Um, yes. Sweet. So you'll see me. I don't have to kindle any bonfires because they're all like, yeah. plus, like they're all up to twenty. Are all of them up to twenty? Um, pretty much all of them. The really important. Probably ones all the ones that you warp to, I imagine. Yeah, 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 definitely. <clears throat> At the end of my first playthrough, I just farmed a bunch of humanity and then went through them. Holy fuck, Ornstein. Get in the fucking fray here, buddy. <laughs> and of course, the minute he's in the fray, I can't see Smo, so I have to back out. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to fight with my fucking back to this guy. <laughs> Just asking for it. Makes your bum nervous? Exactly. There's so many innuendos in this fight. True that, true that. Yeah. I don't like not seeing him. I know he's not doing anything, he's just bumbling around back there, but, you know, in the case that he's like, 
caressing his hammer and getting the lightning ready. Like, <laughs> the lightning yet, but you know what I mean. I just can't have it. Yep. Oh, there you go. Now the time. Tell me you hit more than these once. There you go. I think now, and bear with me, just just follow me here on this thought process. Is the time that you overextend an orange scene? We're getting there. I haven't done yeah, an inch worth of health, so. Yeah, but it has to be I, like. I can't afford to overextend. Like that is. No, no. It's what they're waiting for. No, no, I was just joking, like, because in the main game, the first game through, like, I could actually overextend because I knew I'd be able to chop Ornstein down, but yeah. damage is coming so slow and it's, uh... Yep. Um, normally damage would be coming a little bit faster, but, of course, since the difficulty goes up. Oh, of course, yeah. Bakker. <laughs> He's down to his last swipe, and he dodged three of my swipes in a row. By dodge, I mean I wasn't nearly close enough to actually hit him. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so Bert is down. Ernie is coming up. Crunch. <clears throat> oh, it's okay, yeah. He's down to uh, one sword hit. There you go. There you go, he's down. It would be a really big waste of time if I died to him now. <laughs> Wasting all of our time, huh? Holy fuck. I, I need you to roll in the direction that I tell you to. This is one of those fights that you can't dick around on me. Seriously. Are you going to hug his belly? Um, I'm curious is if I can survive the explosion that he gives off with less than oh, I bet health. you can. <clears throat> My money's on can. Yeah, so... I'm I'll find you yet, Fear Baron. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> it's like, I'll survive you yet, Spell Explosion. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Won't. You won't. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, what are you fucking thinking? That's what you're thinking. I should have seen that coming. He wants to nickel and dime me just enough so that his explosion kills me. That's what he wants. Because he's going to get it. He's going to fucking get one. You know, the the not knowing is killing me. Whether like the explosion will kill you or not. Yeah. Ooh. That charge attack thing that he just did, that um, that's what ruined me so many times. I think it's because I wasn't part of the Eagle Shield Covenant, so yep. you just actually did massive damage. Yep. That'll do it. I like how you're keeping your health topped up, like, and yeah, healing it. It's because I think that his explosion will kill me if I'm not at full health. Yeah. And I'm okay with dropping down to humanity to heal because he's fairly slow. Yep. And I'm pretty sure I can pop one off without much issue. Do something, man. Okay, that's something. I didn't expect it to hit me, but okay. Yeah, it's a slower fight than it usually is, but that's, that's okay. Fine. Holy fuck. Oh, okay, I see what you mean about not expecting you to hit you, yeah. Wow, I waited way too long to roll into that. Oh. Okay, so you're far enough away from the explosion, that was good. What I should be doing is using humanity now and saving my Estus for when I really need it. Okay. <clears throat> that emergency yeah, it's, it's situation. Ooh. Does humanity do full health or I partial? believe it does, yeah. It's full health. Cool. Yeah, this guy's taking a really long time. You can tell him being, like, ultra careful. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Definitely should have saved some Estus, though. But that's okay. Okay. Do something. Come on. Do something. 
I'm not going to swing at you until you do something, because I know you're going to fucking do the exact thing that I need you not to do. That's true. And you'll already be caught in the attack animation, and yeah. seconds will be being wasted, yeah. No, you didn't like that, did you? I'm just barely making it out of that explosion radius. <laughs> what should these arrows do anyway? Oh, good. Would help if I fucking hit them. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. I don't know how you got out of that explosion radius, but you did it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on just humanity now. Don't let me forget that my heals are not timely. Empty jug? No, gotcha. just humanity. It's just not okay. a quick thing. <clears throat> ah, my arrows actually do some decent damage. Like, worth nickel and diming them a bit. And yeah, the sword's distance. doing so much more though, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus he's big enough that his uh, his target is over the destroyed columns. Whereas with Smo, you couldn't really do that. I'm just rolling in every fucking direction now. Except when I go to use my shield, he zooms in on nothing. Yeah, I've died so many times that way. I like the bow because it's safe. Well, safe, generally, unless you're an idiot with it and don't know how to use it. It's bad if you forget how the controls work on it, you know? Yeah. I'm not even fucking hitting him now. Wants to kill me. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> Not gonna give you the chance, buddy. I'm gonna try to take it anyway. It's pretty good changing to your sports book after you learn anything. Yeah, got me. Is Crystal gonna feed you a taco while you're trying to fight this fucker? Yes. Oh man, before. wait till you're done. Wait till the victory. Have a victory taco. <laughs> no, no, no. Not, I'm not gonna do anything to distract myself during the fight. That would be foolhardy. Because <laughs> that would be hilarious to see a taco go into your mouth from <laughs> off screen, but. She wears a green glove and it just kind of floats in. <laughs> Genius. Nope, nope, not what I want. I fucking hate that zoom. Yeah, I'm getting some actual real progress with those arrows and from safety too, which is the more which is the most important part. That zoom is gonna get you killed, man, just saying. Maybe. Per perhaps in time. In time. Yeah, overextend, overextend. Nah, I killed him with a bow. I just don't want to go close to him. Yeah, I don't blame me. <laughs> like normally I would be right up there in his face, but uh yeah. not on the stream. You know, and on a time limit. Well, you did it within one within one try. Yeah, there you go. Go get your Gahan. <laughs> Darlin, would you give me my Gahan? In the Game of Thrones mug? Thank you. Yeah, I actually did notice one of the columns was glitched and I was going to point it out, but uh, I didn't know if you guys would be able to see it or not. There's actually a couple of them that were glitched, I think. Um, 
it happens more often than you think in this game. Like you see a lot of the broken stuff. I don't think it's uh, really made to collapse well. It just collapses whatever because they assume you're not watching, right? Tough girl. Yeah, I'll kneel to that. Nice. And here I am with the binoculars. <coughs> Okay, so the order that I'm going to take is the order that I usually take, and that is Bed of Chaos, and then Seath of Scalas, and then Nido, and finally Four Kings, because in my mind, that's easiest to hardest as far as the bosses go. Praise be to Breasts. This man, he has his priorities straight. <coughs> So I'm going to start in the Demon Ruins. I actually find the Demon Ruins to be incredibly easy. Um, New Londo is actually pretty easy too if you know where to go and how to deal with shit. But oh, I'm going to rest here. But the boss is just, I consider the boss to be so fucking difficult. And, uh, if I end up fighting and screaming with it for hours, then it's going to be hours at the end of the stream. Alright, shit lords, I'm back. I was just explaining that I'm going to be doing um, Bed of Chaos first, and then Seath, then Nido, and finally the Four Kings, because that's what I consider the order of difficulty. So you said Bed of Chaos, Seath, and then, and then Seath Four Kings, yeah. and what? Um, Four Kings is last. Nido will be third. Oh, third. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I should probably go spend these, but I don't really care. So are you doing easiest to hardest, or hardest to easiest? Um, easiest to hardest. Can I ban uh, people for saying Eastern Canada sucks? No. It's the right. Do I have that authority? You do have the authority to, but uh, I would prefer you didn't. Mm. Free mm. speech, Jordan. We were talking so for twenty I... minutes about uh, how underprivileged women are, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. I'm tr I'm debating whether I want to go spend these two hundred thousand souls or if I actually don't give a shit. Vancouver ah, we got a rules. Vancouver right here. You live in Vancouver, didn't you, for a while? There's a guy bashing Eastern Canada in favor of Vancouver. You live in Vancouver, didn't you? I thought it was called Hongcouver. <laughs> because, wow. because it's all Asian. Um, <laughs> if my girlfriend it, no, says you're not, either black, Asian, or mentally retarded. If you're not one of those things, then you are the oppressor and you are the problem. No matter. Um, Jordan was trying to ban him from chat for saying Eastern Canada sucks, but it's free speech. There are actually chat rules. If you guys scroll down, there's a set of rules, and mostly it's like, don't actually be a racist, sexist cunt, or um, don't bully people, and everything else is pretty much fair game, so. Wow. I'd rather have Asians than feminists. Fuck Asians yeah, feminists. I agree with that statement. Yeah. No. All around agreement, it seems. <laughs> Plus 100 internets. <laughs> Motion passes like, unanimously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So are you going to cheese this fight? Yeah. Yeah, he's been doing that lately. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even want to begin to fucking take that shit on. I'm just going to go ahead and cheese it up. I'm pretty sure it's programmed in that he does this, so... Holy shit, really? <laughs> All I heard was... Uh, and then I heard the sound of you souls, dying. But I, I don't care. Um, yeah, he just kind of flicked his arm and then I was dead. Oh, away with you? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. 
that was a one-hit wonder. Yep. And it dropped 191,000 souls. <clears throat> but Asians will have blended with whites and maids, a stunningly beautiful mixed-race people. Yeah, that's fair. Amen. Um, I'm told that it's actually really hard to get a job in Vancouver if you're a white person. Like, not being racist or anything, I actually heard that that's a real thing. Because uh, all the jobs are already filled by, like, affirmative action kind of thing. <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not, but... Endlessly discharged all over you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Keanu, this uh, Victory Gahan is delicious. Yeah? Yeah. Do you still think it's deserved? Uh, yeah, man. Like, this was, uh, this is toast. This is how I want to drink it, was to you winning against Don't and Smo first try. Holy fuck. Even the Eagle Shield can't protect me against his ceaseless discharge. And you have to beat this guy to go on, don't you? To drain yeah. the pits? Yeah. I, I don't think I was full discharge. health, though, so. Oh, okay. I feel like this is going to be that scene from The Simpsons when they're shooting for the Radioactive Man film. It's like, we have to do it again and again and again. Oh, man. Oh, he did discharge, didn't he? We take the most skilled and Asian study hired in school. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I would hope that, I was, that would be the case. I was told that, you know, we had the stereotype about Asian studying hired in school, but that most of them are actually dumb. And the only ones that we see in Canada are the book smart ones because, you know, they're in Canada. Yeah. So, like, their families make them study hard to get over here. Uh, and the rich ones too, and by rich I mean like not crazy rich, but well off because um, yeah, true. Well, here in East Canada, we just want them to show up. If they do that, they got the job. Um, well, he's up to a boss. Yeah, like that's the way that I would assume it would be. Um, I've just heard stories of people going into even fast food restaurants and places and they pass in their resume and they just get laughed out of the building <clears throat> because they're white. But uh, that's all completely anecdotal, so. Oh, fuck. So I sh start a story about, you know, the Asians moving in, stealing all the white man's jobs, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much. Took their jobs. Um, if this guy kills me at full health, okay, for whatever reason he didn't. <laughs> If he kills you at full health, are you going to give up on life and Dark Souls? No, I'm going to go find a fireproof shield. Okay. Okay, so he just killed me in one hit through my eagle shield. Through a wall, no less. Through a fucking mountain. <laughs> um, so I need a fireproof shield. Any suggestions? No, he just says that uh, it's... Remember when you were talking about the guy who went into the fast food place and passed in his resume and he was laughed out because he was white? Oh, yeah. This guy runs a company there and he says that he, like, that's not a thing that he would ever do. Like, they just hire the most competent people and that typically is Asians because Asians study really hard. <clears throat> yeah, McDonald's, Tim Hortons. So I'm sure it's not a general rule and I'm sure it wouldn't even be general across all McDonald's, Tim Hortons there because, uh, yeah. Vancouver too, yeah. But yeah, it completely depends. Like hire all Asians autistic Asians. <laughs> autistic Asians? That's autistic a Asians. that's a pretty unstoppable workforce. Wait, wasn't I gonna go and get a shield? Yeah, I'm I'm googling it now, but <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think Eel Shield has great magic protection anyway. Like I think it's decent but not not awesome. It's got decent lightning or something like that. Um, you didn't really miss anything. I'm just dying at ceaseless discharge. Fucker. Okay, I'm gonna try and see how far I can get away from him. Is there some consumables you should be using? I don't think so. I don't even know if there are any defensible consumables here. Just weapon buffs. Okay, he didn't even hit me there, that's good. Um, 
you actually have to come all the way back here if you want to cheese him. Because Correct. for whatever reason, if you don't, it doesn't work. You gotta roll. I don't think rolling during a firestorm is gonna do much, is it? On, uh, there are those there. that believe that the um, invincibility pixels when you're rolling will prevent all damage from all areas. Yeah. But that fire blast is uh, pretty strong. Or so the legend long, says. So. Please don't kill me. Ooh, fuck. He's making a concerted effort. Um, I think having full stamina makes a big difference. And not being right in his face. Oh god. And not being fucking directly hit by his hand helps. But like if I fuck up my retreat and I don't turn around and take his fire shit. Then I die. But yeah, full stamina, full health. Sakes. It takes more than half my stamina, so it's definitely a factor. Tell me do you have the off. Black Knight shield? I do. Perhaps? Black Knight plus five. Uh, I think that's the one you want to go with. Okay, that's what I use to fight Gwyn. He only does the fireball if you're at a distance. Get right in his face and dodge. <clears throat> yeah. I've never actually fought him, like, hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, I've tried a couple times, but he usually just murders me. But if I can get him to do this nonsense... There he goes. So, he's now hanging over a cliff. And nice. as soon as he lets go, he's gonna die. There he goes. No reason you not got to him. do that, really. Because I'm pretty sure that was built into the game. Um, yeah, otherwise they agreed. Would Apparently the ceaseless discharge ceases eventually. Yeah, that was terrible. Fifty thousand souls. What am I supposed to buy with that? Petty change. A personality? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no bullying. Yes. Are you bullying me or my character? I don't know which I'd be more offended by. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't. I would not actually dream to disrespect your character, because I respect your character. Hmm. But you, I'll just lay on all night. Okay, because you don't respect me? No, it's not so much. I respect you a ton, but... Okay, your character is sacred. There you go. Okay. We roast the ones we love. Yeah. And I'm just chopped liver. Right? Mm. That's yeah. right. You know, okay. console peasant. <laughs> console peasant? Excuse oh, me. Man. Are you trying to start well, a flame no. war? I, I just want to say that um, when I beat Dark Souls, I beat it on the PC Master Race, so... Yeah. Well, I'm starting my PC Master Race playthrough. After seven on here, one playthrough of Demon Souls and one of Dark Souls 2. I have seen the light. Grip the shaft. I like the cut of your jib. Because you say offensive things. Try not to be offensive. I love it. Although, okay. you know what I think Grip the Shaft would enjoy most about this stream? Is if we really leaned into the old maritime accents. The old Canadian accents? Um, I actually know yeah, the, maritime. the lyrics. <clears throat> I know all the lyrics to uh, Out for a Rip. Oh, you, you magnificent bastard, you. Yep. Nice. I saw that on Twitter one time. He said you're out for a rip. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's a pretty fantastic and horrendously accurate song. It, it is a little sad how, how, how it rings true, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you actually fight the Fire Sage Demon, Jordan. Okay, which one's this? The fire... The fire sage demon is the asylum demon knock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me. Teach me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 
Oh, you didn't do the Lord Vessel, no, did you, you prick? The, well, I did the Lord Vessel. I didn't talk to Dickhead there. Fucker. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's not the Man. first time I've done that, either. <laughs> Bring me home. Man, you're just... Offensive. Well, did you know there's no real way to say I find this offensive in all the Scandinavian languages? Oh, interesting. Um, there's the thing that people say that's offensive, but to say that's offensive is a paradox because offensive, <laughs> something being offensive or being offended by something is completely subjective. So, like, you know, you could have half the I world's population that's offended by something and the other half isn't. So, how can you say it's offensive, right? I think the paradox is unsung hero. How do you mean? If you call someone an unsung hero, they're no longer it. Yeah, true. Because you're calling them a hero. Is this which one? What's your closest bonfire that you can warp back to? Oh, the only time we lost was the distance between ceaseless discharge and where I was just then. It's just a short run. Oh, okay. So the progress I made was oh, being oh, ceaseless discharge, right? Okay, cool. So no harm, no foul. Yeah, place the Lord vessel. You tired? Fuck. Yeah. Get the stick out of your ass. Boop, Be boop, somebody. Boop. I went down to four viewers. Someone pushed out. Couldn't keep. We were get getting a little too real for them. Um, Twitch is weird for the viewer count. It increases and uh, okay. decreases. So like, if a person did leave and drop it, it's something that would have happened ten minutes ago, and the page is only just now. Gotcha. Open. Um, Sweet. I've been watching someone's stream for 20 minutes, and it says that there are zero people watching. Let's hang out and jerk each other off while whispering pseudo-intellectual anecdotes to each other? Holy shit, this guy gets it. Pretty much. You have us <laughs> exactly down to the letter. I think I just found my new Facebook status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your bio on Twitter now. Okay. Uh, actually, we do hang out, but um, we just stroke each other's egos, our large phallic e egos. I don't know. You don't stroke my ego so much as you punch it, Jordan. I try to tear it down because I'm I'm, I'm weak inside, you know. Yeah. But who's to say you're not doing the same? You called me a console peasant. There you go. Weak inside. Small dick. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> and that's the, uh... Thumbs up, I'm done with Gerb's the Shaft. Yeah. Oh, shit. Gotta find some way to pass the time while I'm fucking up this game. You think I'd know important things by playthrough seven, like place the Lord Vessel before attempting a Lord Vessel area. You would think. But then you'd be wrong. But you would. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. <laughs> if it's on now PC, this is back on the yeah. achieve back to you. The Xbox 360. Um, do, you, do you use any mods for Dark Souls, Jordan? No, sir. Yeah. I played it pure and clean and glitching and all that shit. Yeah. Um, I probably won't do any mods just because I'm not actually committing to the PC version. I'm just playing it through with some people. Why the fuck do I don't have a shield out? Where's my shield? That was some kind of ridiculous just fought a capper demon without a shield. Hey, good news. The whole um, hang out, jerk each other off, pseudo, pseudo intellectual stuff, it's um, it's enough characters to put into a uh, Twitter message. Wonderful. Save that for later when I sober up. That'll be a good laugh in the morning. Save that in your drafts. There, yeah. No, no, that's been published. You've no. been tagged. Okay. So I'll get a 
notification here in a second. Stop stealing Stop my words. Stealing my <laughs> Hacks or words. Yeah. Get super Let's put it on your plagiarism. you're on your Tumblr feminist blog. Yep. I think people would know that it wasn't me coming up with it because it wasn't pseudo enough. Okay. Intellectual, yes, but, you know, not false enough. Was it in quotes? It was in quotes. Oh, there you go. Correct. Fine, then. I just, I should have put, um, hey, Grip the Chef, what's your uh, Twitter handle? I'll, uh, I'll edit you onto this beast. <laughs> My mouth words. You guys are like Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I came onto this stream to dispense the insults, not take them in. Yep. Well, don't dish them out if you can't take them in. Whatever that <laughs> no, saying no, is uh, about I being love in it. the kitchen and taking heat. You fucked it up. <laughs> That's bad. If you can't take the heat, no. get out of my face. I love being insulted by a pseudo intellectual mind. Yeah. I just find, like, no one around here is funny enough to actually, like, take a hard jab at things. Like, no one cuts the bone, like, grip the shaft. Yeah. No, you know, no nothing doing. says confidence in one's sexuality like a handle, like, grip the shaft. <laughs> That's true. It's also a, a little harder to take your insult seriously, though. No <laughs> offense. I just see it as confidence. Yeah, my uh, name's Pink, and it's Grip the Shaft. I love it. Yep. I love that. Mind cancer. Getting dumber by listening to us. I'm married, married to, to a man. man. Good for you. So is my wife. <laughs> yep. I'm married to my Xbox, or I would be if it were legal. It's called the sex box, folks. The sex box. Because it's like sex, only you don't have to get the girl off. Or man, depending on your situation. Wait, you have to get the girl off during sex? You know, I guess it's socially polite to do it, but okay. I don't know. Oh, Seems I see like the, uh, the demon fire sage is, is uh, taking a leaf out of your safe files book. He just did that explosive move like four fucking times in a row. <laughs> just spammed it? Yeah. Me in the corner. My love for the D. Eagle Shield taking it like a champ, though. But this is what I was talking about. If you can stay nice and close to him, then he'll mm -hmm. stop doing it, and he'll just do his uh, thing where he jumps up in the air and butt slams. Oh, you fucker. Got a second hit waiting for me. I need to heal. Piss off. Don't hit me again, you fucker. Okay, didn't quite make it. I thought you were supposed to show me how it's done, man. He talks to smack, and then he came down here, and you're getting it handed to you. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, well, Motherfucker, aren't you getting... This asshole has not killed me yet, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but let's just say he's been it to you. And before he dies, because he's a blocking turd. <laughs> I'm doing oh, I love fine. It. I love how our new best friend uh, knows in before. Would you think he visits the Chon and is a Haxor? Oh, I don't know about that. Haxor is a very strong word, Jordan. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know we should use it lightly. Shit. You should get a sword that does damage when you swing it. Me? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, Jordan. <laughs> All of these claims are unfounded. I refute them with vigor. <laughs> give your B button some love. Now that is some advice I can give behind. <laughs> yeah. Eagle Shield, though. Welcome to the Covenant. Yes, yeah, seriously. That is, yes, uh, Grip the Shaft. Uh, Keanu is part of the Eagle Shield Covenant. Yep. It's a belief that the Eagle Shield rules all and is all. We meet on Sundays. <laughs> it's also why there's no shields in Bloodborne, because they just couldn't compete with yep. Eagle Shield, there's no point in making a game with shields if it could be Eagle Shield. Um, the only shield in the game is the Eagle Shield, but they put it th at the end of the game because they're assholes. There you go. 
Define fine. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, if you can get behind um, the kind of origin point of his little explosion there and have your shield up, then you can actually block the explosion, which is really nice. I know you're going to do it. Uh, I'm going for that one. There, he's dead. Take your words and eat them. <clears throat> you did it. It was ugly, but you did it. Alright, let me catch up on the torrent of insults in the chat. <laughs> Dies because he's a blocking turd. Yeah, I showed you. <clears throat> There's a permanent indent on your left index finger with a big L imprinted on it. Tattooed baby. I don't think there's any letters on this controller. This is a pro controller because I'm a pro. Um, they call it pro because the buttons aren't colored. Because apparently. I am now following Grip the Shaft. Nice. Um, apparently, the only uh, thing it takes to be pro is to not look down at the controller to see which color the button is that you're pressing. <laughs> it's just nice. that easy. <clears throat> I'm just going to go uh, trigger this shortcut here, if I can get past these fucking flaming assholes. I guess I don't actually need to go up. Well, yeah, I should go up and use that bonfire. Um, well, no, there's one right before the the centipede demon. That should be fine. Should suffice. Uh, you know, Ken, I gotta tell you this. I think Crypto Shaft would really enjoy our conversation about Inception. The uh, Inception of the Human Mind? Exactly, of course. But of course, is there any other kind of inception? What was the story? It was your your boss that asked you if you're going to see. <laughs> I need a drink here. If you go into, is that British Columbia liquor for some whiskey? Nice. Yeah, it was a it was a worker the like a the curator at the last museum I worked at. I'm like, yeah, I went to uh, the city to watch Inception. She's like, Inception of what? <laughs> I'm like, it's just a movie. I'm like, but I felt so idiotic. Like when she said that, I'm like, wow, yeah. I should. Uh... I feel like you should have a really intelligent answer for to follow yeah, up there. I, I felt my story was kind of dumb. Like I felt like I should have had a much better story. Be like, well, you know, the inception of the artistic form and the yeah, male the, body or something. The inception like of uh, the nature of human thought, of course. Of course, slamming a, of course on the end, like like pretentious. Yeah. Pick up the shaft seat in a bit. Looking forward to getting your drink on. You know, I know I'm already I'm drinking for the two of us here. Yeah, I might pick it up after a bit. I just don't want to do it on the stream. No, no, I don't blame because you. it'll tie me right the fuck out. So my wife keeps asking me when I'll be done, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I t I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna be all night. You just laugh and take another beer. And yeah, no, she's like, but like you know, like what time? Like I don't know, one. I'm like all night. Uh, here's a tip for this boss. Don't get hit by the extendo worm. Okay, I remember how much trouble you had with him. Oh man, so much trouble. But you probably have the ring, do you? That you can walk in the lava? No, it takes it from you every uh, every night. Oh, okay. I'm going two-handed because I don't feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of shielding. Did the eagle shield just block the extendo worm? Yes. You should have just told me that from the beginning. I thought you knew. Why, you probably why tried to tell you me. try that? <laughs> it's like I didn't have the Eagle Shield at this time. Okay, yeah. I think this is where what? I convinced you to join, like Eagle Shield hype. I think you kept saying if I just didn't believe it. Yeah, it, it is hard to believe until you uh, see the true name of the Eagle. 
because the eagle seal like the or the extendo arm is just putting it all over me like no yep. matter what I did. Yep. You know he actually does look a lot like Carnage. What I should be doing is trying yeah. to cut his tail off. Um, the stream is getting super mega pixel you FYI, not that it's ruining anything, it's just making like very eight bit looking. I think it's your internet. Because Oh yeah. I, I've seen that with, with bad internet connection and I think okay. you're the, you're the only one whose internet is uh or whose stream is crapping out too, so. Okay. No you're worries. On, uh, you're on um apartment internet, right? No, I'm on fiber out. My own fiber out. Okay. Um, it's fine though. I'm sure it'll like work itself out. Maybe I just have too many windows open. Yeah, I find too anything with any kind of network heavy traffic, like I can't um, watch my stream while I'm streaming it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's better. No, mine's uh, the same, and it buffers every thirty seconds. Okay, I've been lucky to do without the buffer. Enough, I'm good. And the. Uh, yeah. So I'm not even going to use this bonfire, I'm just going to go do the shortcut and go straight to the bed of chaos. Thank you, sir. But you need to fight the boss though, right, to do this all? All this? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't... Did I wouldn't you just do optional try, content? I don't know, I think I read somewhere that you can't do... Um, bed of chaos until you actually do the bosses proper. Yeah, I can respect that. Um. Or like the door that I'm going to try and open won't actually open until you... Uh, I don't know if it's shorter from... Yeah, I think it's shorter from the uh, Daughter of Chaos. And I really should go and spend those 200,000 souls on something. <clears throat> Be like three bosses and then just throw the souls away. The leveling in the forest, I get 30,000 souls every three minutes. Okay. So, like 200,000 is not really that that crazy. I don't even have anything left to buy. Like, I could buy large Titanite and stuff like that, and green and twinkling, but, you know, I have 999 of every arrow, all the items. So, it's not even worth the time for me to go and do it. Like, if I make enough for a level, then sure. I'll level up, but we're still 150,000 yeah. away. I don't even think I'm carrying the hard souls for it. Hard soul of a proud knight. Uh, yeah, that's like 8,000. Yeah, I'm nowhere close to level. Nice. There you go. Just confirm that you can go without fighting the enemy demon. Okay. <coughs> Oh, fuck. We call it the sleeping area of Discord so that we don't trigger you. <laughs> What's the trigger there? Better chaos. Trigger warning. Okay. Yeah, Hashtag trigger fine. warning. Yeah. Um, my trigger is trigger warnings. Oh, snap. And now we begin the long walk. This could carry us till tomorrow. Or you could do a first try. Yeah. You should tr at least try the arrow trick. That would really be doing me a favor. Yeah, I think I'm going to start off with that. I mean, there's no nice. reason not to. Um, and with all the tips that I've given you, I mean, the tips that I've learned in my playthroughs, it shouldn't be too bad, but it's still, nice. you know, every now and then. Open up. You know what I'm really looking forward to? Um, yeah. The uh, Shadow of the Colossus stream. Nice. I was thinking about that today. Um, nobody streams Shadow of the Colossus anymore. Okay. Yeah, I've been kind of like thinking about the whole stream thing, like how Dark Souls 1 was the only one I streamed, but I really enjoyed it so much. Mm -hmm. But it just felt like such a stream-worthy game, and it was on PC, so it was easier. Yep. And I'm just like, I don't know, I kind of... I, I wish I had developed my hitbox more, like I didn't really put enough effort into it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of tempted to get the whole streaming kit thing for Bloodborne, but I'm not sure if I... Yes, that know, would be a great if one. If I'm not committed. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to say. 
I would definitely watch your Bloodboard stream. Nice. But then, could I just uh, stream it to Twitch straight from the PS4? Like, I'd probably have to pay something for that. Uh, you would need a capture card. What I really, because I like, I know people have those channels and stuff that they can broadcast from. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, you'll have to look that up if there's a Twitch yeah, app. Yeah, I, I, I should look it up. Yeah, and even if it was like. I know price. there's a Twitch app on the Xbox 360 that, or sorry, okay. the Xbox One. 360 doesn't okay. have it. You can only view, but on the Xbox yep. One, you can stream what you're playing without any nice. extra stuff. I suppose the hard part though would be. Like, I really like Hitbox, and I'd have to do it through Twitch, which is fine, but... Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't have to do any work, right? No, no. What I should do is I should just set up one and mirror the other, like, so make a Twitch one, like, fully put it with, like, whatever pictures or profiles I want on it, and then, um, and then do it, mirror it on Hitbox. All right, game time. And you know what I mean when I say the arrow trick? Like hitting the things yep. from right underneath them? Okay, cool. Nope, don't use it yet. Don't use it to shoot them yet. What? You, you don't want to shoot the globs until you're right underneath them. I don't you walk it. right up to his mouth. He's going to And then you shoot the arrow. Though, isn't he? He will, but you'll be within like a certain crazy hitbox where he won't be able to hit you. So nope, you walk right up good. to him. He's hitting me good. No, but like still go right up to him. Like I, I definitely recommend watching the video on it just because like this this fight could be all night if it doesn't go sweet. Oh, I think so, I know what you're saying. So you so get up underneath him and here. No, you in the you area stand that's gonna yeah. Fall out, right. Yes, exactly. And then use arrows to shoot. I don't the know glob shoot things. From here, can I? Uh, you should. Allegedly, you can. And then you'll be right there when the ground falls out, but you'll already be in the proper position. Yeah, I understand what you're saying now. I might have to YouTube yep. it though, because I don't feel like this is going to work for me. I'm shooting the orange things, but I. I think you have to shoot no, you them sh lower. You have to shoot the globs, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna YouTube this just so I I know. I seem to be pretty safe sure. standing here, so. Oh, he uh. He he didn't use an arrow. He used a fire. Uh, oh. Firebomb. Okay. Gotcha. And then he just <clears throat> dove into it. Okay, so we'll give that a shot. Uh, heal up first, too, please. <clears throat> I love how I can stand here, and he's just like, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to allow this. I'm going to use a black firebomb, too, just because. So he stands here. And then um, when shit goes down, he boots it to the entrance. Okay, that wasn't high enough. Maybe I need the... Actually, get aim higher. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay, I got the first one. And then turn, do the second one. Fuck, I need this to work. He's flaming up here. It's not good news. Gotcha. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I understand if you can't, man. I totally... Because it is like such a weird... Fuck! He killed me. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, you have to turn and throw the second firebomb immediately, perfectly in the place where it's supposed to go. I'm gonna try it yep. again. I'm gonna run up there because the ground has. I totally would yet. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would totally run up there and then give another go. But yeah. But um. 
It kind of broke my heart though to find out that the only way you could kind of cheese the fight was by already like if if you messed it up, then you couldn't yeah. cheese it anymore. Yeah. Ironically, that's designed to make the fight easier. Mm -hmm. um, I think if I tried it the regular way, it won't be so bad because I've done it so many times. Oh yeah, no man, like whatever you feel comfortable with. But you're tempted though, aren't you? Yeah. Also, do we know Grip the Shaft? Do we know him or who he no. is? No, no idea. No, no guy. idea. Okay. Because uh, uh, he follows on... you and he. Okay, yeah. What's that? <clears throat> I posted on Facebook, so I get a lot of people here from my Facebook, but they don't say who they okay. are. Okay. Uh, not that I know of. I don't think I know him, but uh, mm -hmm. he followed you amongst other people and. I found him on Twitch, no problem. Good stuff. Just curious. Yep. Um, I don't know if I'm going to really commit to doing Shadow of the Colossus in one sitting. Because... Okay, um, yeah. I think it'll just be like a stream. If it happens in one sitting, cool. If it doesn't, then whatever. But mm -hmm. um, I don't need it to happen in a sitting kind of thing. I, Which is weird, because I thought that you'd have an easier time doing that in one sitting than this game. Oh, much easier. Yeah, for sure. But, but you don't want to force it. I don't want to force it, yeah. I don't want more constraints than I need when I'm doing okay, it. Okay, yeah. Because um, that would poison the experience. Yeah. Um, it would, it's like a link to the past. I could have done it in a sitting if I didn't start at like 11.30 at night. Okay, and yeah. um, I would have been really stressed if it had gotten to like 2.30 or whatever and I was still gotcha. only halfway through. Mm -hmm. like to tell people one sitting. Um, but I am really looking forward to it. And I might actually do it between now and the optional content of Dark Souls because I am so okay. sick of Dark Souls. Like, yeah, I believe it, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be not sick of Dark Souls when Bloodborne comes out, and... No, I hear you, man. Like, that's it for me. Like, I've wanted to go back to Dark Souls 2 for a bit, but after watching you go through it and then talking to my buddy, like, getting daily updates... Like, he's done it. Like I said, he's already passed the mm -hmm. He went in the weirdest order, too, for the bosses. Like, I think this is his last boss, Better Chaos. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so, like, I need to definitely take a break from it all. And I've actually been trying to not get into the Bloodborne hype just so that I'm not like oversaturated with it. Yeah, for sure. I, I kind of want to go into the game knowing as little as possible about it. But... I'm not reading or following anything on it. I'm just kind of yeah. staying neutral. Although there is one thing IGN did that I want to follow up on. It was talked about like how it how Dark Souls evolved into Bloodborne or Bloodborne evolved out of Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that might be interesting. Nope, but other than bomb. that... Not the bomb. I need you to heal. I need you to fucking heal. <laughs> Christ. Do it right, please. You're not doing it right. I know you're not doing it right. How do I know? Because you're doing it wrong. Oh, there you go. Yeah, throwing the bomb. Into the flames. Fire in the flames, yeah. What I can do is I can kite his fire thing out. Oh, no, I can't because it comes from underneath of him. Fuck. I don't know how you're missing with the bombs, man. Like, you're just nailing it, like, just yeah. lobbing it in there perfectly. It's kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Yep. Oh, yeah, I see what you're trying to do with the kite and the fire. Yeah, I respect. Big respect. Then you gotta worry about the arms, I guess. I guess? No? Yep. You have the little arms. I'll get you. Eagle shield one way, eagle shield the other, no? Yep. Holy crap, man, like how did they get this the bomb into it? This is sick. I'm gonna run 
wanted to ask this after two more hits. Oh wow, you were just on the brink too. I hit the fucking thing. Were you too far away though from the... I have no idea. I'm out of Estes. Okay. I have humanity. Yeah, but, yeah, no. Like, I don't get, like, why the bombs aren't hitting it, because I think you're doing, like, perfectly. I found a spot that I can stand that uh, the fire doesn't hit me. Okay, nice. So I think in going out, taking a pot shot or two. Yeah. I can get in two, but I'm only going to do one. Okay, yep, smart. This is where he stood, that's where he threw. So, I don't know. But I would love this to fucking work. Yeah, of course, man. I'm going to check the video again. I hope it wasn't some stupid where like he killed he, before he went in. No, he's aiming far to the right when he throws this one. He also has his crosshairs for somehow. I don't know if I can actually get my bow out. I guess I could do that. Does he do the bow with that one? Or does he do bombs with both? No, he Probably has, does bombs though. It looks like he has a bow out. Yeah, he does. So just so he can aim and line up his shot, he okay. has a bow out. Okay. okay. Man, he was some fuck quick about it, I guess. Yep. He's already lining up his second shot um, after his first one lands. Gotcha. And he throws it like there. I'd be tempted to uh, keep on your current method of just toughing them and hoping, but... Yeah, but I want to be throwing it in the right direction. Yeah, I gotcha. It's like under this, under all of his tendrils, but not quite to the body. Yeah, trying to fucking line up a shot in like less than a second. Nope, I don't want you to fire an arrow. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. That's where I want to throw it, but I don't know if that's going to work. Because I'm so fucking rushed when I do it. Of course, man. You only got, like, seconds between the fire. I'm throwing it exactly where he did now. Okay. But eventually, this is going to take up more time than uh, if I had done it the other way. Oh, yeah. I understand. No fire? Come on. I know you want to do it. There it is. Get your sword out? No, I'm going to pause it right okay. on the video where he throws it. Yeah, I can't do much better than that, and it doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to, so... Try a little more left, maybe. Do 
you have to be closer to it for some reason? Or no, you're probably standing exactly where you want to be standing now. Yeah, I don't think he moved at all. I'll try it though. Not no, no, no idea, man. Maybe you blow it up and then fall to your death, and that could happen. Yeah, I have no idea. Because it looks like I'm hitting the thing. I'm just yeah, it, it does yeah. Not in exactly the right spot or whatever. Well, all your heart beat good. Because my his fire can't reach here. Not even fucking close. Run of fire bombs here soon. All right, I'll try it like a couple more times, and then I'll just say fuck sure, it man. and do it the real way. Yeah, no, man, whatever you think's best. Sword out. Yep. He killed me with his fire. Holy fuck. Yep. I was rolling towards the uh, the guy and he got me with his flames. One That's hit. fucking insane. Cause like you had this man, like holy shit, you're right there. Oh, it'll happen again. Like I'll be I'll be in there and he'll kill me with his fire. Cause it's one because, hit, like, right? you know, that's crazy. That's one hit. Like, how can you ever deal with that? Because, you have yeah. You get lucky enough for him to not use it or be at a full sprint and get get outside of it or something like that. Okay, now that the branches are broken, will they stay broken forever? I don't think so, no. No, I don't think so either. It's just, I was just wondering. Because, yeah, like, even when I went down there, he used the fire, and I had to heal up, but at least I was alive. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I ended up throwing it, like, exactly where he had it pointed, and yep. you got to have it, like, down to the pixel exact. Okay. Um, and it but he did it, it, though. Like... Yeah, it's, it was a, an excellent um, uh, opportunity, for sure. But now to the old ways. Oh, hey. man, that's... Yeah, it took a little longer than I would have liked it for it to for a, a shortcut like that, but. But I'm um, glad you got it though. Well, if it had have worked though, you it would have been worth it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and I'll definitely try it from now on every time I play the Better Chaos. Well, I think it'd be worth going like with the the first try, like you said, you're doing it with your friends, like on the PC. Yeah. Like, I think it'd be definitely worth trying on that because at least then you'll survive the first hit. Well, what you would do if you had three people is you would park one underneath and then send two after each one of them. Right, mm -hmm. or even if you had two people, park one and then send the. Uh, oh, send like the all three guy. of us are, are playing. Mm -hmm. I think I mean like one character and you're all taking turns or some crap. No, we're gonna be playing multiplayer. Nice. There's like three or four of us. You can actually play four yep. players if one of them's a black phantom. Oh, well, what's that? It's the invader. Okay, gotcha. But then, uh, I don't know if they can actually attack enemies. Gotcha. Or what? So you're more of a guide than an, any actual help, and you can't do boss fights either. You get banished yep. when they enter the boss door. Yeah. But um. Yeah, the only way that I can protect myself against that fire is to either boot it and hope it doesn't happen, which is a bad mm -hmm. idea, or walk with my shield up. 
and hope yep. that my shield helps. Gotcha. Yeah, it'd be like if you could get him to do the fire attack on the outskirts of the arena. Either, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah, you're right. It's like so hard. It's, it's just a luck based thing, right? Like this entire fight is all luck based. There's no actual like no, power or anything behind it. Everything dies in one hit. You're right. Um, but yeah. You guys will get to see how I actually do this fight normally. Even the designers themselves have dis expressed their dysphatic section with a bit of chaos. It's a really clunky oh, Really? Place. I did not um, know that. Yeah, I guess the fire ring would do me better than this defense. You're right. Any little bit helps too. Oh yeah, no, I think I'd go for like any little bit you like to do. That might potentially eco at any kind of advantage. Yeah. So I'm back underneath of them, and you're going to see the little ledge that I was talking about that I saw somebody okay. use. Keep my stamina full, keep my health full. And he's dead. Nice! <clears throat> yeah, that was good. Um, that little ledge, you're going to see it. That's going to be my number one tip for people from now on. Because you don't have to jump. You can actually look down from the ledge and just step off the uh -huh. ledge and you're done. Oh, okay. But does it take, like, you know, I have to be careful I take it? Well, you, you see, the way that I do it is, like, point the eagle shield right and then left as his swings come. Oh, okay. Heal, make sure you're well healed, and slowly walk yep. towards the edge. And by the <laughs> time you're there, his hits aren't really hitting you, and you can just calmly walk up and, and step off the edge. Nice. Um, oh, very well done, man. Very impressed. Yep. So now we'll move on to the um, library. Do you guys want to take a quick break? Makes no difference to me. Well, I can keep powering through. It's up to you guys. I would say power through. Like, um, like if I need a break, I just go and do whatever I need. But yeah, for sure. But if you need a break, to go for it, totally. If I had of uh, successfully killed him that first try, I would currently have enough uh, soul to level up. Oh wow! Three hundred and sixty-two, and I only need three forty-five. Not that it matters. It's one level. I also finally figured out how to tell mimics from chests just by looking at the chain. Oh, nice! I did not know that. Um, the chain on the right side. If it's a real chest, it curls in a circle. But if it's a mimic, yeah. it trails out like a snake. That's Pretty awesome. simple once you actually see it, but uh, really handy. I find this is the best way to take care of the boars. They can't get in here, and this quick little swipe with the lightning falchion does more damage than I've than anything that I've seen, uh, save for maybe a backstab. And you can do quick ones in sequence, and it also gives you that step back for when they swing. So it's pretty efficient as far as like a fucking steel skinned mini boss goes, or crystal skinned, or whatever he's made of. Yeah, you're right now. He is stuck there. Oh, Fang Boar Helm hype. There's like a bunch of people obsessed with the Boar Helm, I don't know why. 
I don't know if it's actually decent or what. Come on, get up here. Ooh, here he comes. And these guys don't respond after you kill them, so whew, get in there. I actually know my way through the library pretty well, so it should be a pretty quick one. The hardest part is those fucking magicians that superpower everything. And a superpowered crystal soldier hits, like, more than most other enemies we've seen already. I forget if I want lightning, like if I actually want lightning or just the regular one. I'm gonna find out though. <laughs> okay, they're actually like exactly the same. 56 and 55. These guys ain't, aren't even fucking super powered. <clears throat> um, if you kite them onto the elevator and bring the elevator down, they'll just stand there uncomfortably because they're too far away from their spawn points. <laughs> and uh, they'll be so uncomfortable that they won't even fight you. That's fun. Fuck the health on them too. Yeah, the sword made no difference. I was doing 55 damage either way. <clears throat> there are more dudes out here. Yeah, there's one here. Nope, that's not what I want at all. Get your shit together. <laughs> nice. Actually, these arrows did quite a bit too. Arrows did 79. It's more than a sword hit. But I can't block. Motherfucker, get over here. Backstab with a bow. Okay. I don't want to kite that fucker too. It's always good to do this specific area really slowly because if even two of those guys team up on you, um, you can be dead real quick. I'll have to come. 
come back and kill him when I start doing a DLC. Uh, I want to kite whoever's out here inside. Can you backstab these fuckers? Or find out. Not sure. Oh, I think the little guys you can. Yeah. No reason why not. Yeah, I don't know. I know there's more. More dudes up here. Is there an archer? Maybe? No, soldier. And an archer. I forgot how much I actually hate this area. I remember you telling me like that you hated it so much your first time through, or even yeah. umpteenth time through. Yeah. Well, the first time through is the hardest because you don't know where to go, and mm -hmm. if you forget where to go, then it's fucking super frustrating. on my butt and call me a bitch I'm back good to see you again we've made some decent progress went through the entirety of the better chaos took her out on the second try and now we're hitting up to see the scaleless oh I actually staggered him nice he's almost dead <coughs> There's a dude up there too. Like I think there's a archer up on top of the fucking bookshelf. What I actually want is to kill you now. He's got like two hits left and he's dead. Fucker. forget where to go in the archives it's two rooms it's three floors though and they all look identical and the rooms are uh, connected on some levels and not connected on others so it's I don't know for two rooms it's pretty fucking complicated what I mean, know what where I got shot from oh my god I'm ready for you to be dead now Really? God damn it. So this is where I get angry and run past everything. Oh, this always works, doesn't it? Yep. I have made it work for this one, though. Okay. But yeah. Try it once the right way, and then... Um, Get angry and do it the fast way. I can smell my taco. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> the speed run is too intense. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, I've already confirmed that I will not be Duke skipping because I don't know how. <laughs> Never looked up the specifics of the Duke skip, but uh, I hear it's pretty grand. You guys excited to watch me die for rushing? Um, yeah, kind of, I guess. I guess. Uh, hesitant, yes. I'm more interested to see how uh, Griff the Shaft responds to it. Well, you're gonna I'm be sure it'll be some positive words of through. encouragement. <clears throat> some good solid advice. If I were going to Duke Skip, it would be here, but again, no clue. If you were going to no scope, 360, 420 blaze it? I fucking no scope that whole fight last time, and he killed me with the. Uh... With the fire at the first go, yeah. Yeah, the YOLO scope. YOLO scope. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was the yellow scope where you jump off an, an, a ledge and you get the what? final kill with a I, no scope what, uh, or something like that? I think it something to do. I figured it had something to do with like taking a shot that you didn't, didn't think you're gonna make. Yeah, but that and, you would die you if you make... didn't make it, but that you would win yes, the game exactly, if, you, yeah. if you did make it. Yep. Yep. YOLO. Yeah. That's it's weird to not area. backstabbing these guys. I know, right? Like, that's one thing we can finally get behind together. I agree completely. I am from the Church of Backstab, but, uh... <gasps> yeah. Not Keanu. I don't really rely too heavily on backstabbing. I enjoy it when I get one, but, uh... That's not really how I roll. He wants to take the moral high ground, I guess. Um, there are some instances where I can't fight without backstabbing or parrying. See uh, final boss fight. But True, yeah. It's just not something I generally think of as a tactic. Okay, so the key here is to just die and lose all my souls. See if I can't fuck that up. If, if you, you die too early, I'm gonna say something about no stink power. Well, if you get cursed instead of die, I, yeah. think, I don't think it does what you need it to do. So, what I should be doing is wearing the fucking curse bite ring. Yeah, because I think I was cursed there before, and it cursed me and it sent me back to the bonfire, and I had to come find him again. <clears throat> okay, I understand. You have to die by being knocked out. Which makes sense, because if you were to die by being cursed, you couldn't really be sent to prison, because you'd be made of stone. Yeah, I usually just roll away. That's how I roll. Exactly. Roll away, and Eagle Shield Covenant. <laughs> um, I guess I don't need the curse ring anymore. You guys are so oh, critical. But you Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's a thing on the PS4 you can like let somebody take your game over and let them play. I'm not sure, but that would make all the sense. But I like how it's yeah. It's like I don't know if I can handle much more of this constructive feedback. Yeah, it's only destructive criticism. There you go. Um, the reason I homeward boned, boned, is. Uh, because if you do, it kills the alarm, and it stops these guys at the bottom of the stairs from coming up after you. I've already been in all these cells. I have all the, the armor and the items and the equipment you can get. <clears throat> That's why I don't feel bad about not doing a lot of the optional content and going in my way for, for items is because I have them all. So let's see if I can't get murdered before I pull this lever. Wait, that's a chest, not a lever. Where's the lever? Oh. Is that the one I want? No, fuck. That's wrong. That's the alarm. I don't know anything anymore. What I'm looking for is a key to open the door, not a lever to open the door. Derp. Would you say your whole life has been a lie now? Yeah. I just think I'm derping out. It's 11 p.m. I'm allowed to slip a little bit. I pulled the lever to my first go. Hmm. Yeah, I've actually done uh, Reyes' storyline and Big Logan. You actually have to do all of the the mages' storylines if you want 100% completion, or not 100%. All the uh, you know what I'm trying to say achievements because you yeah. need to buy all the miracles, buy all the pyromancies, find all the pyromancies. And all the uh, the spells, and Big Hat Logan, uh, he actually drops the best magic spell. I think it is when he dies, but he has to do it like he has to go hollow, and you fight him in the room that I just got killed by Seethin. 
Oh, okay. And then when you come back, his shit's in a chest or something like that. Good stuff. So we have a bonfire. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> and then let me see if I can remember this correctly. It is up to force. Over by one. And then rotate this. Fuck you, table. Exactly. Um, there's one point on that table that you can get caught on if you're running. You can't honestly tell me that this would be not confusing for first time players. Oh Jesus, where the fuck did you come from? Or a tango, I guess. Get out of here. Oh, you fucker. Down we go. So bonfire, shortcut opened. My precious falchion. Is in the next room. In one of these chests. <coughs> oh, it's the the mimic drops it. I'm gonna start two handing. Awesome. I love falchions. In case you didn't know. Jesus, they're tough now. I remember when they used to go down with like three hits. No, that was useless. Oh, prism stone because, yeah, the floor is invisible. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Powering through. Everyone's much quieter now. Are you guys all getting tired? Yeah, I'm just playing a very intense game here. Damn it. I'm a tablet, I fucked it up. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, I guess I should equip what I need now. This is all uh, curse resistance. For those curious, this is all excellent curse resistance. And I think I'll stick with the Corinthy ring. Should be fine. The shield is okay too. Devin's still alive. I like kiting this guy and it jumping off the edge. Makes me feel good about myself. But he actually has to be afraid of you in order for it to work. I'm pretty sure this guy's not afraid yes. of me. Nope, he just punched me off the edge. Not afraid like a at boss? all. He did jump backwards, but he, he didn't make it to the edge. Well, the point of all these walks is to make that last walk shorter, so... <clears throat> <laughs> Um, I like to run past all the clams my first time so that one or two of them follows me into the boss fight and then I have to fight them alongside the boss. Sounds like a miserable self-hating way to live. That it is. Mostly because I'm lazy and I don't want to fucking fight 12 clams. Should... What's that? I think you should fight the crap people. Yeah, oh, I definitely should. Fucker. Motherfucker, round two. There he goes. See ya. Um, get up there. All of these messages that you see on all the corners of the invisible floor, those are all mine. Those are my, f is it five or six? I think it's six messages that you can leave because um, messages are permanent across playthroughs. So I now have the path to that blue Titanite slab mapped out. That's uh, really neat. Didn't know that, man. Walk from message to message. It means I can't leave messages for people because as soon as I go over the limit of like six or whatever, it starts erasing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Totally worth it, though, huh? Yeah. You know, fuck helping other people. Fuck them, yeah. All right, clam time. Who wants chowder? Fuck. You came out of nowhere. Did the clams kill you? 
No. Um, a okay. second one just uh, tried to headbutt me as soon as the first one died. Apparently they come in pairs. I hate clam chowder. Yeah, me too. I know there's one up there too. I don't think I can see. Yeah, I don't think you can see the item that they drop because they sit right on top of it. So you actually have to check each one. Like and not and unlike roll. privilege. Well, <laughs> yeah, like privilege, but I think they're oysters, well, except they're full of skulls instead of pearls. But it's supposed to be a cute little thing. Like yeah, you have to check it for items like a pearl. It's like yeah, we get it. We know what a fucking oyster is. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Really? God damn it. You're leaving me with the end? I thought Seath would take me longer to kill than the Bed of Chaos. Yeah, there you go. I haven't even made it to him yet. Kind of janky, huh? Those clams killed me, so guess what I'm doing next instead? Falling off ledges? I don't know. Running past everything. 10-4. <coughs> kiting clams in the boss. Um, the second time you fight the boss, there's a fog door, so they can't actually follow yep. you in. So I've heard. But um, that's my pattern. I try to do it right, I die, and then I get pissed and I run past everything. Seems to have worked well so far. So after the Duke, there is... Nido. Okay, yeah, gotcha. And then the Four Kings. Well, Sif and yep. then the Four Kings. For some reason, I keep on forgetting about, uh... About Nito. Yeah. But, uh... Okay, Seath, I think you're a little too privileged. <laughs> Time to put a stop to that. I'm here to kick ass and check privilege, and I'm all out of privilege. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh sweet, he killed the clan for me. Well that was nice of you. What are you doing? I 
I don't blame you for uh, bringing the um, clams and yeah. I think it's a viable strategy. Jesus Christ. You really wanted me to die there, didn't you? Didn't actually know that you could heal while you're standing in the crystals being killed by them, but I found out. problem. Now to the graveyard. I fucking hate the graveyard. Um, by now you must be old hand at it. Mm. I'm gonna cheese the fuck out of that canyon though. <laughs> oh yeah, I taught good call, you, too. Good call. you actually uh, you showed me a better way to do the first step too. There, yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that. So. Good stuff. See if he wants to make this one on one. He's so honorable for the insane scaleless. Yeah. Um. Well, Nito kills his own skeletons, but only because he knows that they'll just come back and uh, fuck you up anyway. Okay, time to have my weapon power. Yeah, good call. Huh? Don't let me forget to fight Sif. As I did to Oh you. yeah, that'd be a douchey thing to do, huh? Oh, he's all butthurt because I didn't talk to him. Muffin. Yeah, you can actually, uh, you can fight and kill the four kings before you even place the lord vessel. And uh, okay. a different uh, big snaky dude comes up from the darkness and convinces you to join the Dark Covenant. Oh, okay. I think you told me about a different snaky dude, but... Mm -hmm. Yep, and he's so done it all. Uh, he tries to convince you to do the darkness ending. Okay. So you've done all the different permutations? Yep. Just for the achievements. Oh, that was misguided. But like you've done the four kings first to see before the Lord Vessel to see it all go down? Yep. Yeah, you get an achievement for joining every covenant, so I had to join his. Hopefully this cheese leads directly to Pinwheel. And mm. we can push on straight into the uh Tomb of Giants without too much trouble. <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen this cheese, you're going to fucking love it. Straight down the walls of the canyon, right down to the bone wheels, and then just jump and run past all the bone wheels. So they, even, they barely even catch up to you. Um, and you're fighting Pinwheel before you've really even started the graveyard at all. Pinwheel's also dead easy. I don't know how people have trouble with him. Like, he's easier than the Congregation in Dark Souls 2. Yeah, actually, you're right, yeah. Not you're right. Uh... 
I should change out of these dingy ropes. <coughs> Thought I forgot to do something. That's how you get the dark hand, yep. Uh, you can get the dark hand as a drop from uh, those uh, wraith, wraith things that you fight, whatever they're called. Okay, let the cheese begin. So it starts by a little trick Jordan showed me. That uh, shit you can't do until you flip the first bridge. So I'm going to skip it for now and try to do it my way. That's step one. Get off my head please. I need to get in here. Fucker. Well, when there's not a skeleton standing on your face, um, that's step one. I have faith in you, sir. But, uh, Jordan, you actually have to flip the first bridge before you can do your oh, trick. Okay. Okay. Cool. And if it comes to that, I will. But, uh, I've done this, I've done it this way enough times that I can land it fairly often. It's actually best if you get pushed off the edge and not killed. Motherfucker. I might kill those skeletons as I come in then. Because they're actually they're strong enough to kill me now without really yep. breaking a sweat. Wouldn't blame you. Just checking the time. I don't know who's fucking throwing fire at me, but I'm sick of it. Dick. Nice. Didn't realize you could uh, cheese that kill. Okay, so very carefully eke yourself off the edge. If you do too much, you will slip and die. It's best to do it off this corner if you can pull it off. Come on, man, you gotta fall killing me here and then get the fuck in here because the exploding heads are going to try and kill you <coughs> you want to let the exploding heads trigger do their thing live until kill the skeletons for you if you let them come on guys not going to help me out There you go. And then step off the edge again. A little closer. They can't sweat their skeletons. Keep shooting them in the dick. 
Oh, Devin. <laughs> Never change. And this last drop leads to bone wheels, so check yourself before you wreck yourself. Fucker. I didn't think there was a second one. Typically running in a serpentine pattern like I did uh, does everything you need it to. Um, usually they don't even follow you. Like they just kind of give up. But sometimes you'll have one or two of them chase you in. <laughs> but that's the easy way to pinwheel. Um, I forget if I want to use divine. I don't think so. I think I just want to go straight up raw. I don't think I particularly need defense against anything else. No, I think divine is necessary for this next one. be two-handing, realistically. But no matter, because he's a pushover. I have like four masks of the child, five masks of the father, and three masks of the mother. Got masks coming on my ass. Reverend Rhyme Master over here. <laughs> Still don't have enough uh, souls to level up though. Okay, this is not a path I commonly take. Because you only have to take it once per playthrough. So let's see if I can't fuck it up. know if I should be using design or not. I don't think I need to. Fuck. Shit. I need to be not here. Fuck. Dark Souls. Why you do me like that? Pretty sure that's actually the image on the cover of Dark Souls is three giant skeletons stomping your face in. <laughs> yeah, the pinwheel story is really sad. Um, you can hear their whispers to the father, the mother, and the child as you're fighting the battle. Um, huh. I forget what they say. The mother's like... will take you or you can you can't escape from us or some shit like that and you can't really make it what the the child says but fucker wow, i don't think i could fuck that one up anymore um, but the father's one you can make it easiest and he just keeps saying i'm sorry i'm so sorry it's because he was the uh the mage that tried to bring his uh wife and child back from the dead and he fucked it up and merged them all into one horrendous monster who was pinwheel Yeah, they should at least make it the image on the back, exactly. Alright, so I can just hold on to the Divine Falchion now. I th think... I don't know if I need the Divine to fight the big guys and kill them. I don't know. I shouldn't be fighting the big guys anyway, I should be running past them. But I forget the exact path to take, and running in the dark. 
with giant skeletons is not the best idea. Skeletons are so fucking derpy. Just their move set. And, and backstabbing makes no sense on a skeleton. Because you would just turn around. Because you're not actually stabbing anything. Oh, and I lost 271,000 souls. Nice. Oh, you bastard. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think I did. <coughs> but I, knew, I do need them for these three skeleton bastards. I don't think I need them for bone wheels either. Just these particular foot soldiers. And I don't even know if they come back after you kill their necromancer, do they? Maybe that's Dark Souls 2. <laughs> See ya. Also, Devin, I apologize if we um, reveal any Dark Souls 2 spoilers. I know that you haven't played it yet. No, I need to heal first. Um, this is why it's a better idea to take Jordan's uh, suggested path. You flip that first bridge and you can drop down safely onto it and then just jump from there to the place I'm trying to land on. But that involves, you know, actually going and flipping the first bridge. Which takes like no time at all, so I should probably just do it. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. I'm not gonna bother picking the souls up, you guys can have them. this is oh nice bring me home bring me home <laughs> country roads so I get the bridge flipped Oh, nice. Good man. <clears throat> so this one Hashtag goes. worth it? Yeah, it is worth it. Because um, it makes my descent easy instead of risky. Uh -huh. Oh, fucker. Why is it not flipped? Is that the second bridge? Uh, Something's not right. Something is not right. Move. Fuck, I forget everything.
Oh my god, move. And that's open now. But this is a whole fucking different thing. I think that's the bridge I want flipped. But I don't think this leads to the way to unflip it. Maybe it does. Yeah, no, it does. Also leads to a bonfire that I am not interested because it completely fucks up my uh, my strategy for completing this area. Yeah, the skeletons always want to help. Are you sure the skeletons die as soon as I kill the necromancer? Oh, fucker. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Flipped bridge. Okay, so tell me this bridge is flipped. Alright, so it's the second bridge. You have to get all the way to the second bonfire to flip it. But when you do... Oh, okay. You can fall, and then you can just roll. As long as you get the fuck away from the exploding skulls. <clears throat> so there, the first fall is uh, risk-free now, which is the way you want it to be. Nice. Fuck. How did a bone wheel get up here? I'm not even mad. I'm kind of impressed. Not even a bone wheel, you're just a rolling skeleton. Get out of here. Okay, so I can switch back to my main weapon finally. It's an overachiever. He just wants to fit in. I should be at full health. Holy fuck, I really hope I don't have to do all this again. But it depends on the next three minutes. Okay, so that's all I had to do, was just go around the corner and slide, and that was fine. <clears throat> well, no matter. I'm at the warp of the bonfire here, so... Hey, Patches, guess what? Asshole. Fuck, I hate patches. <laughs> oh, the game knew you were cheating. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I do wonder. The second bonfire here is a uh, completely a crapshoot. Holy fuck, Black Knight, where'd you come from?
Go to here. I guess there's not even any skeletons until Nito, so just my basic weapon should be enough. Fuck lizards in general. Fuck whatever that thing is. Man, that bow is huge. It's like a 12 foot long bow. And a 12 foot long arrow in my fucking kneecap. <laughs> that looks really painful. Guy takes it like a champ. Oh, these little gremlins. They'll fuck you up if they get close enough. Should be using fire against these. But really, all I need to do is push them off the edge. Okay, needle time. Um. So I want poison protection. And I think I grass through at this fight because I want what's the other one that I want? I think steel protection. There's another really important ring that I want to wear. Is it curse bite? Does he curse me? I didn't think he was cursing, but he might have been. No, there's two really important rings that I want. I don't think there's water on the ground, is there? No. I don't know enough to make a difference anyways. I think I... I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, I think I go for Ring of Steel Protection because of the fucking skeletons or something. All I know is I remember grassing this fight. And it's like one okay. of the only fights that I actually grass for. Cool. Where the fuck is my grass? Oh, there it is. Um... Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it when I get down there, but... And then... This has to be divine, and the other one is... A regular one. I'm gonna need arrows. It's gonna bug me. Maybe it's bleed. I forget. Um, so yeah. Grass for the first time this game. I like to get my first couple hits on these guys with uh, my main weapon and then kill them with the divine. But that's easier said than done. Oh, get up. Oh, fuck, I killed them both. Fine weapon does actually does some decent damage. You can actually play the whole fight without cutting those big skeletons over there. Not yeah, I think that's how I did my first go, was not hitting the skeletons over there either. I never realized, um, there were like five playthroughs that you could do it without kiting them. Nice. Yeah, not really. Man, you fucking 
love spamming that AoE attack though. It's like every second attack. Yeah, there it is again. Can't forget to grass. Very important. I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. I can't even fucking see him. Alright, he's toast. So his friends over in the corner die. And we get to go fight Sif. What do you think? Four kings before midnight? <laughs> four kings in four minutes? Four minutes. I have to say, um, have you ever played like this much, like gotten this far in one sitting in Dark Souls? Um, a, a couple times before, I've started at like Ornstein and Smo, played to the end, looped around the beginning, and got to Ornstein and Smo again. So yeah, um, you're kidding, right? A few times I've done it actually. A couple of my playthroughs. I'd say in a like, one sitting. Yep, probably like playthrough three, and like four or five, which is gotcha. It's, why I was so confident as to make like a stream marathon of it is because I've done it before, so I, I knew. It's funny that you do uh, Ornstein and Smo, like that's the breakup. Yeah, I would get to them, I would beat them, and then I would quit. Gotcha. But like, typically I would pick the game up and then play it until them, and like they would be after like, seven or eight hours of playing, right? Mm hmm. So I'd beat them, wouldn't want to play anymore. Um, okay, Sif. Oh uh, yeah, good. I forgot to remind you about Sif. Yeah, good call. It's fine. <clears throat> I would have remembered eventually. You would have remembered real quick if you had to walk through that <laughs> fucking gate. <laughs> yeah, it would have been funny though. I like to think For Devin sure. would have reminded me. Screaming at me from the chat. You dumb fuck. So you have to buy the Astoria thing again? The gate key? I think I bought it. Pretty sure I no, bought it. No, did you? Cool. Cool. Well, it's better that you just run there instead of like just checking the bomb the blacksmith guy right there. What's in my items? Okay, come on, I believe you. My keys, yes, Crest of Artorias. But no, uh, wasting the viewer's time has been a staple of the stream so far. So, you're right. There you go. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited because I know like how little there is left. Yeah, after I beat the Four Kings, that's the end of the stream because the only thing left after that is Gwyn, and we already did Gwyn. Good call. Oh yeah, I never even thought of it that way. Yeah, you're right. Yep. So just Sif and the Four Kings left. That's not one o'clock yet. No man, like I think here, I think you're doing great time, but like it just baffles my mind because like this game took me like what a month and a half. Yeah. Six weeks, eight weeks. Oh, I, I like, pretend you know, that it didn't take me a month and a half when I first played it. Well, it's, well because you farm so much too. Like, yeah. so many hours of farming. Um, I think I'm just peaking 200 hours on this game. Hmm. Yeah, I'll check the time just after yeah. uh, just after the Four Kings to see what I'm up to. But I think I'll be past I'll be past 200 now. No, oh, I guess I should actually cleaned out this area before running through it. That would have been smart. Holy shit. Is it, though? I I thought he didn't have a car. I thought it was his girlfriend's. Oh, a, a dump truck hit it? Jesus Christ. So the front end of Scott's car is gone. Wow. Um, got obliterated by a dump truck. Are they okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, garbage truck. Crazy. I imagine they're pretty fucking pissed. One car between two people.
Um, Jordan, did you have any trouble finding Sif with the directions that I gave you? No, I didn't. Once I heard about the, the silver door at the far end. And yeah, I'm pretty sure my last direction was, uh, you'll know it when you see it. So. Yeah, because I, uh, I had made it to the cat before. I just hadn't gone past that further. Yeah, yeah it's pretty straightforward. Alright, Sif, get the fuck out here. Let's do this. He's an underestimate Sif. He's a pretty fucking hard hitter too, and he's got a lot of health. Mm -hmm. But like, if he lands a direct hit, it's gonna hurt. You got me just with this chin there. <laughs> He's just fucking hopping around. Oh well, yeah, you did see a big chunk of damage. He's half dead now. He just never stops. This is one of those uh, difficult to heal battles. Okay, yeah. I try to stay in top health in case uh, he gets me in a corner. Because if he really starts tucking into me, I won't be able to heal. <clears throat> it's one of those fights I'd like to do two-handed, but... You know, it would just be a bad idea, because as soon as you fuck up and you need your shield and it's not there, you're done. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So, this one goes a little bit slower. Could you stop that, please? Oh, you got me with the, just with the edge there. All right, he's down. I guess I might as well get this little treasure back here. <coughs> Hornet's ring, I think. Um, now going to the Undead Parish. I'll probably start by trying to run through, and then if they start killing me good... Or not the Undead Parish, um, New Londo. If they start killing me really good, then I'll slow down and actually fight them. Okay. I can't wait to play something that's not Dark Souls. <laughs> I am stoked. <laughs> Bless you. It's weird that nobody watches. Oh shit, I'm really close to a level actually. One run in the forest, where I just was. Um, <laughs> get me a level, so I'm just gonna use a couple souls. Okay, some nasal. Thousand fuck. Or like that in Dark Souls 2, you can use multiple souls at once. You can just yeah, like, oh, it, use ten of these. Just the little things, yeah, that make it. Yeah. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, this is the last stretch. Once I unlock the four kings and kill them, that will be it for tonight. Insane, man. Just fucking insane. Hmm. I'm glad you had a good time. Oh, for sure. Like, it's just it's just baffling. But, like, I do know that, like, once you have all the equipment, it does make it a lot quicker. Like, everything maxed out on levels. And... Yeah. Fatality 50, 40, 40, 46. So I was working on decks. I don't know why I have 32 faith and intelligence. I think it was for fire and magic weapons. But no doubt. if I could respec, I don't think I can respec, but if I could, I would have like no intelligence or faith, pour it all into vitality, mm -hmm. endurance decks, get strength up to the point that I could use the eagle shield and nothing more. <laughs> um, I'd even reach for 99 vitality because you get it's like 1900 health or something at that point. Okay. Which is pretty great. Maybe you need a certain level of int and faith to get like miracles and. Yeah, you do for sure. Um, sure. But I, I know I put them up so that my fire and like uh, magic falchions would have some punch. Okay. Once you beat the four kings, we'll be right back where we were. Yep, that's why we'll end the stream there because we will have done one complete playthrough and. The next time I fire up a Dark Souls stream for the optional content, like the DLC, the optional bosses I missed, I'll be able to just go to any of them. Like, just go straight to it. Which was the plan all along. Fuck you, pot dude. Give me your shit. <clears throat> so yeah, this is one of the first places that Crystal went. Because, uh... She insists on not playing video games, right? <laughs> Dumb wrong fun? Exactly. Actually, she's having no fun, was she? Yeah, she rage quit pretty hard. But uh, she says she will bring it back again. She just needs to do some leveling, and she knows where the leveling spots are. So cool. that's what's important. It's funny. So you're going to bother equipping the, uh, the ghost stuff? Uh, no. Not for running. Is through. it because you're HAF? Um, it's because I'm powering through, so I'm not actually yeah. going to be fighting any of them. Hard as fuck. Oh, yeah. No, that too. I always forget there's a fog door there. So how's the Dark Souls 2 achievements coming along? Uh, I didn't even put anything into it. Like, I I don't even think I restarted the new playthrough. So okay, not yeah. at all. Um, it's a lot harder to make yourself want to do it after, um, like, when you have to make the choice yourself. Yeah. yeah. I really wish I could run up ladders. Ah, uh, fuck. So I made yeah, the ladder gotcha. and then they killed me. Okay. Um, I suppose it wouldn't take much though for them to kill you though. What I should do is uh, run through and then clean out the house because that's where I die most often is there in the house and I'll have to get back down if I want to do the whole thing. True, yeah. Oh wow, two hits. That was it. Um, so I might do that. But yeah, I uh, just went around the end of Dark Souls 2 picking up a bunch of achievements um, mm -hmm. that I could get at. And yep. remember the dude that gives you the ladders? Yep. And there's a dude in the game that tells you to kill him as a favor. Yep. So I did yep. that. I'm just like, whatever, I don't need this NPC. So I killed him. I go back, yep. and the guy, he won't even give me the time of day. So I'm like, okay, well, that was pointless. It turns out that this guy is now holding me you back need... for three achievements. So if oh, I hadn't wow. killed him, I would be like three achievements ahead right now. The ladder guy? Yep. Gotcha. So that sucks. Kind of back. And the guy that wants you to kill him? He, did you he hear wants, that he actually... He wants nothing to do with me. He won't even speak to me. Nope. But you didn't need to kill him? I guess not. You just, you just need to get the, the trophy from him? And you uh, can buy it from him? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, go kill him and bring me back like the miniature trophy thing and... 
And yeah. you can go to the letter dude and just buy it. <clears throat> but I didn't know that. I thought it was part of the game. No, 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 no. That, that's fine, man. That's totally understandable. Uh, I uh, actually accidentally released that guy, so... Like, I started doing the quest, and I got a couple of the trophy things, and then I went back, and I just accidentally released him. Like that. Probably. Um, and he's like, you've unleashed a plague upon this land, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm like, yep, whatever, boss. <laughs> you go do My bad. Thing. Are you going to equip some ghost stuff, or did you do that already? No, I'm going to do that when I'm approaching the house. Now, what is what is wrong with your dick being so hard that you have to just make <laughs> things harder? That I have to uh, run through everything. It's because Let's I jade myself into thinking that it's more efficient doing it this way because it's faster. Uh, okay. Get it? There's a joke there. No, there's not. Uh, the joke no. is me being an idiot. So the, when the ghosts are surrounding you and you're still going through inventory management? Genius. Pretty much. Okay. So now is the time when we actually do things right. Okay. Died again? Mm -hmm. At least it died faster. That's efficient. But the point is, it's like that uh, Better Chaos hack that we tried. You try it, <laughs> and if you get it the first time, that's great. You wasted no time at all. But if it so happens that it fucks up, then, I don't know, you wasted a couple runs through. But Yeah, these guys, you know, for being ghosts and you not being allowed to hit them, they sure are allowed to grab a hold of you and keep you there. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly like when the ghosts block your path. But um, killing them's not a problem. It's separating them that's the problem. Because you can't even use the environment to separate them because you just fucking go right through it. Yep. But yeah, I will... Uh... Would that have been some sweet-ass programming to uh, write the code for a ghost to be able to go through the wall but block the player from moving forward? Um, no, it's actually... The... Ghost going through the wall is the easy part. You actually have to write code to stop the player from going through the wall. Oh, okay. So the ghost thing going through the wall is the natural way of the game. You just yeah. remove all collision detection from it. Neat. Except for player, which they fuck off. Yep. Now see, you could have brought the elevator up and then managed your inventory and then bobbed your uncle and then bam, you're done. Oh, you should be playing then, Jordan. <laughs> I am a much better uh, coach than I am the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. The coach that berates and insults his... Uh, his yeah, his players. If you're me, we'd probably just be finishing up Warren Cena's Smell right now, if we're lucky. Yeah. <clears throat> If we're not lucky, we'd be just freeing the bell tower after um, <laughs> the spider bitch. Yeah, you'll get there someday, though. Nah, not I don't really plan on. Yeah. You'd probably give uh, Dark Souls 2 a run for its money, though. Yeah, I'd consider it, yeah. Especially after watching some of the speedrunners, man. That's just inspiring the way they cheese the game. Mm. It's not even right. It's not even fair. I've actually never seen anyone play any Dark Souls 2 except for what I did, so okay, I'll definitely thanks. be interested in uh, watching you do the playthrough. If you ever do. Yeah, that's true. I still have to play uh, Demon's Souls I... again on stream. I'm actually not looking forward to that. I'm not a huge fan of Demon Souls. Well, you don't have to, but I understand if you need to. Yeah. I figured that'll be, like, someday, probably past Bloodborne, when I'm okay, yep. really missing... Uh, the series. You guys aren't even trying to stay above the ground or anything. Get the fuck over here. Let's do this. <laughs> really? You guys are gonna make me come to you? That's where that separation problem comes in. And fucking five of them wind up for their big slicey attack. I can't do shit about it. Are you guys done? Pretty sure there's at least one more ghost in there. He 
these ones I can run past. I like how all Famous of the items experts. are just baited with ghosts that appear and kill you when you um, mm -hmm. try to get one. I think that's rude as fuck. Okay, anybody after me? Doesn't look like it. I don't need any more fucking competition here. Uh, I can't even use the transient curse. I don't want to run out mid-battle. That would fucking suck. Any ghosts in there? I would like to fight you now, out here. Yes, you. That's a good episode. Oh, shit. Didn't see you coming. Okay, you guys are just being assholes now. Nope, I told you to get your bow out. Oh well. They just poked you right through the wall. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Oh, the whole tr the whole train has started up. I'm worried that my transient curse is gonna run out. Oh, okay. I think you still got some time on me. Yeah. Really? I can't fucking hit you guys through the floor. Assholes. Oh my god. This is why I run through and try to get it, because this takes I wouldn't blame you for trying to run now, but... No, it would be a waste now. Come on, you fuckers, Ooh. get out here. Man, you're taking tons of damage to the wall, though. That was kind of creepy. Yeah. Might be worth checking the curse now, but... It's still, you, know, you can see the, the white lines surrounding me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is that the guys that came out of the house? It's weird, you guys just hang out down there. You're getting away, don't you? Yeah, take that fucker. It's like they're in the water. Yeah, it is. I'm very right about that. No, it's not. There you go. They don't like the bow and arrow too much, do they? So who's next? They just attack me from random fucking directions. I didn't even see that. Somebody stabbed me out of literally nowhere. Oh, they're doing it again. Pissing me off. I think there's just a ghost directly below me stabbing up. Oh, okay, yep. It's just That'll like, get you. why the fuck would they even write that into programming? Because they hate fun? Because they, they know that hate fun. Because they know we're suckers? Take your medicine. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get out of here. Get out. Do not want to be in his warpath. I tried to kill him quickly, but uh, we all know how that goes. Jesus fucking Christ, you're kidding me. Okay, so a regular ghost just hit me five times in less than a second and killed me. Just one ghost. That was fucking insane. Oh, I see what you're talking about, yeah. But this is the other hard part of the Four Kings, is this fucking area. At least I get you doing my inventory management, right? Yeah, I'm a backseat quarterback in here. But yeah, um, Transient Curse appears as those little, the lines that are currently green because of my quarantine. Um, they'll turn oh. white. So if you see a green glow around me instead of white, please warn me. Uh, but then it'll be 30 seconds too late. And you'll already be fucked. Yeah, but I could be running around like an idiot for 30 seconds without it, so. Yeah, that's true. So true.
So if you had made it up to the chimney in the um, fireplace, is he right on the roof there, like immediately on the roof? He's on the other end of the roof, so I run across, which is good Sweet. because it means I can get the fuck away from the ghosts. Talk yep. to him, he gives me the key, and then I have to go back down yeah. through the house and over that little yep. path. So yep. it's nice to have them all dead. Yeah. I'm going to do this time the same thing as I did last time. Yep. Because last time Smart I almost time. had it, except for those fucking cheap-ass mechanics. This definitely seems like the way to go. You know about the ladder, right? One sec. Oh, fuck you guys. Um, which ladder's that? Are you referring to the ladder inside the chimney, or is there another one? I think the only other ladder I know is that ladder. And I don't even know if there's anything important that it goes to. I assumed it was just meant to get you back up if you fell. Just outside the fog door. Before, before the bridge. The bridge. Yeah. Um, I was under the impression that that didn't lead anywhere necessary. You can kick it down for a shortcut. Oh, is it a shortcut? Yeah. I don't know where it leads to, but... I know of it. Just here. But I never found the bot, like, how you could get to the bottom usefully. Maybe I'll get you to show me. Are you even aiming at anything? Idiot. No, just let her fucking cut your face open. Dickhead. Okay, gonna need that shortcut. How do I get to the bottom of the ladder? On the ledge where you fight the two ghosts before the tower, you can roll to the ledge of that ladder. The first two ghosts that you fight? Or the second two? Second two. Okay. This will be the first time I've ever used that shortcut successfully. When you climb the stairs. Alright, I'll have a look for it. Um, I went down the ladder before and explored that ledge, but I couldn't find any way to use it. So I just assumed it was there for like, if something weird happened and you fell down. Because from any of the lower ledges lining the path that you take, it leads back to that ladder. If something fucked up and you fell, then you could just go around and go back up instead of dying. <clears throat> One 
my shortcut. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, if you had to jump off a ledge, that'd be a really shortcut. Make things a lot easier, though. If I can skip this first section and go straight to the house. Did you put your ghost stuff on? Yep. Cool. That was a little more treacherous than I like my shortcuts to be, but I'll take it. <clears throat> oh, look at that frame rate. Fuck. My frame rate's down to like 0 0.5 frames per second right now. It is really fucking dying. It's like it's loading every ghost in the level at once. Jesus Christ. So when I'm climbing that ladder, that's not oh, your Oh, I see it, up. yeah. That's uh, the Xbox. Struggling hard. I heard Dark Souls had some lag to it, but... The odd time. Alright, I'm just gonna go See, for it. See, this is what happens. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is what happens when you try to cheese stuff. Fuck. No, I'm not gonna get it. Probably exactly, like the game did not like it. Yeah, you get ghosts attacking you out of the fucking walls. Just trying to fucking survive now. Fuck. That was a shit show. Oh shit, this is not gonna end well for me. No. Nope. That's what I get. Shortcut though. Did he omni slash you again? No, I get nine ghosts come out at me at once. <clears throat> well, there, there comes your. That explains your lag. <laughs> they really came out of the woodwork though, huh? Well, I, I tried to run to the ladder again, but if they yep. slow you at all. Even yeah, if they yeah. don't slow you and you run straight to it, there's a 50-50 chance you'll get killed before you reach the top. But if they slow you down and you have to heal, you don't stand a chance. Like, you might as well just lay down and die. And uh, they come out of the walls and attack you as you're running by. Um, the one with the red eyes shoots lightning, and the lightning kills you when it touches you. Huh. Um, at least at this... At this level, it does. I'm glad because they need every advantage they can get, man. Because it just it was too stacked against your 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 favor. Yeah. Like the ghost, like it was just too easy for you. So, like I'm glad the ghosts have some sort of edge against you. Yep. Like shooting lightning, that's death rays and stuff. Yeah. It would be too easy otherwise, right? That's right. Seven ghosts at once. I think I saw a poem like that once. Uh, I think they need to buff the ghosts. I don't think they're powerful enough. <laughs> They just Maybe if they had some them. sort of like enrage timer, if like you don't kill them after ten seconds, they enrage and then then they get hired. Uh, perma buff, yeah, that's what they need. <laughs> and it stacks though through playthroughs. Like after you die, you go back. They still have the buff. Yep. No, you're definitely right. <laughs> I bet if I suggested it to them, the sick fucks would probably put that code in. Yeah. You keep your mouth shut, Jordan. This is a great suggestion. We've been getting lots of garbage and trash about how we should reduce the lag and but this guy he this Jordan he gets it yep a ghost cutting my neck with a ghost blade doesn't even fucking make sense am I am Wouldn't I wrong here I th yeah I think like I said man <gasps> Oh, he just wanted some loving, man. I didn't think new fucking Londa would be the hardest part of this fucking stream. But we're getting there. It is far tougher than any boss you've fought so far, that's for sure. Yeah. I should really be rolling instead of jumping, because one of these times I'm going to jump right through. Oh, the frame rate's dying again, so... 
I bet you're right about the loading the ghosts. Just have to load them all at once to get get ready for me. Because they want to be ready. They know I'm coming. Downloading ghost dang bang. <laughs> ghost gang bang dot Abby. <laughs> And it can so be a, a hard ghosts. video file because they know exactly how it's going to play out. So they can just take <laughs> Same my game ending over every time. And just, uh, they can just play it back to me. Yeah. It's that's like, exactly it. cue the you died screen. Holy fuck, they're all coming out again. God damn it. Leave me alone. All of them at fucking once. Oh, yeah, man. They got some reach on them. They got some mad reach. Why did that last arrow not kill you? Yeah, they do all come out at once, don't they? Oh. I like the ladder trick because it comes with a terrible, terrible price. What's that? Everything. This the seven general. ghosts at once. Oh, I see what you meant about that arrow not killing them. Um... Did the ghost still stab me when I try to cross this bridge? They don't seem to be. I think the actual ghost doing the stabbing came up and I fought them. So that's convenient. I at least have some sort of fucking retreat. Okay, so I'm just gonna peek my head in. Fuck. Abort! Abort! <laughs> danger, Will Robinson, danger! I'm gonna run out of Estes. Holy fuck, they all come out again. You guys are... You're an efficient team, I'll give you that. <laughs> you never skip a fucking beat. And they... As soon as I exit this radius, they all just seep back into the house. It's kind of creepy the way they do that too, huh? Waiting there. It's like a fucking frat house. I'm surprised Googly Eyes just doesn't come out and finish you. Fuck off. God damn it. Holy fuck. What were you saying? I said I'm surprised Googly Eyes hasn't come out just to finish you. Yeah, just blast lightning in my face. And then it comes yep. out my butt and I explode. <laughs> I don't know how to do it without running in. Like, you can't separate them. And if you can't separate them, what the fuck is the point in fighting them? Like, I might as well just run in. Try to get past them before they fucking come out of the walls and get up that ladder. Because I've done it before. It's not that yep. hard. I just have to get lucky. But fighting them does not seem to be getting me anywhere. I don't think I've killed all of them yet, right? No, you haven't killed them all yet, that's for sure. Does it make you feel any condolence that you didn't die from ghosts, but from the fall? Why would that make me feel condoled? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I could taste the stress in that voice. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you asking these fucking idiotic <laughs> questions, Jordan? Exactly. Yeah, I expect you're not helping around. Like, be fighting the four kings at around quarter after. It's like these guys are fucking stressing me out. Although I do recall now that it, this is a common way to play this section. This is not new for okay. me. Okay. Um, it's usually throw myself at it until stress makes me snap and then just run repeatedly and block out each death in my own memory. That shortcut really fucking helps, though. I can skip half the level. Um, oh, dog wants out. Yep. Continue on without me. Yeah, I've been playing this entire game again and again. Made it to New Game Plus 7 without uh, knowing how to use that shortcut properly, so... I appreciate it. Oh, fuck off. I'm tempted to just run past these assholes, but I know if I do, they'll be the ones to get me. That shortcut's treacherous. Here comes the frame rate drop. 
Okay, I'm gonna run in. When I get inside the room, I'm gonna veer left so they can't come out of the walls and attack me. There might be ghosts on the far left side of the room that attack me. Fuck if I know, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, they're all pretty much all on the right side. Get the fuck up there. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Get gone. Okay. Progress. I don't care what you have to say, just give me the fucking key. Time to die. Holy shit, they didn't kill me. But this will. <laughs> You're not going down the staircase. That was ridiculous. As if that staircase isn't hard enough to get across. I need ghosts sticking their blades out the side of the uh, the building as I try to jump across. Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter. Got key. One more thing I have to do before I can fight the uh, four kings. He's wearing my armor. Okay, so with that shortcut, this shouldn't be too bad. Because as long as I'm not kiting the ghost at the side of the house, I should have a fairly ghost-free trip. That fucking staircase, though. You actually have to start descending it before you jump, or else you won't make it. But when you start descending it, the change in the, the ground, like the change in footing, fucks up your jump. So I make this jump maybe 5% of the time. I don't know any better way to do it. I just take the first step down and leap off of there. I don't know how else to do it. I don't have any feather shoes that extend the range of my, range of my jump. I do have the uh, wood grain ring that makes me do a ninja flip, but I don't think that's going to help me. Actually, if I were to try a new strategy, it would be that. It would be to throw on the wood grain ring. Kamikaze! Get down there. My frame rate has dropped to zero. <laughs> One frame in five seconds. That's crazy. That's a lot of ghosts to load. Has to load each of their knives separately. Oh yeah. Flawless. Excellent. Only one more thing to do in this stream. The hardest thing. Good to save the best for last, right? No, it wouldn't help. I would try to do the, the hand spring when he flipped and just land in open air and fall down the staircase and get stabbed by three ghosts on the way and lightning bolted. So, my loadout is completely different for this fight. Falchion plus 15 is fine. My armor is just full Havel. 
No problems there. The rings, of course, my first is Covenant of Artor Artorius, and the second is the Spell Stoneplate Ring. <coughs> um, because they only do magic attacks. So I I will be grassing for this fight. My shield... Or no, uh, sorry, I don't need to grass because I'm not going to be using my shield. I'm going to leave it on my back. So I'm going to do my grass crest shield because it has the same effect as the Quarantine Ring. And in my second hand, I don't actually think I need anything in my second hand. I don't think it matters because I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be one-handing it. Um... But yeah, this is my uh, Havel loadout. Good stuff. Still pretty mobile, too. Oh, not really. Ah, uh, yes, that's what the other one I need is Havel's Ring. So I can't do uh, Stone Plate. Actually, fuck it. I'm going Stone Plate. I'll fat roll, I don't care. That's fine. <coughs> My shield's all shiny. I didn't realize it was that shiny. This is the only way I've ever successfully beat the Four Kings, is with uh, Havel Loadout. Hopefully it won't be too bad. It would be a shame to finish the stream before Jordan get back, but... <coughs> you could always go back and watch it if you needed to. <laughs> He's got quite the jump on him for fat rolling. I'll give him that. On the whole way, <coughs> drained out the water, and are now yep. on the way to fight the four kings. You got the ring on? Yes, I do. Oh, so you got your uh, your fancy clothes on too? Yep. I'm glad you went back to the uh, Grass Crest Shield Covenant. Oh, yes. Just this once. <laughs> Just making a visit. Yep. So I can't adequately, in my sleep deprived state, adequately uh, express how impressed I am with the whole deal, but I'm impressed. That's good. The uh, one sitting deal. Uh, what impressed me most was the Hornstein Small one first try fight yeah um, it would have been like half that time if I hadn't been incredibly careful with what I was doing but. Mm -hmm. here's a question why can't you uh, jump down from the very top of the tower because you uh, hit uh, an outcropping on the way down <coughs> gotcha so many have tried none of us succeeded well I've tried I don't know about many well there you go Fight's going good so far. Jesus Christ. Relentless. Oh wow, these guys do tons of damage even with your fancy suit on. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm glad you decided to go on the offensive. Want 
can I do, right? Give uh, the B button some love. Uh, nah, I know, it'd be, the, it'd, be the, it'd be a chunky roll, I agree. Yeah, you gotta... There's no choice. Yeah, for sure. Um, the biggest problem is running out of Estes. Gotcha. Stamina seems to be a real bitch in this fight, too. <coughs> yeah. Oh, he killed me in two hits. <clears throat> so I got two kings killed, um, a little more than half of the full health gone. The mm -hmm. most dangerous part is immediately after you kill a king, and you're extremely far away from the next one, because... Okay. The further away you are from them, the more their attacks do. So what oh, I, I see what you do, mean with the two-hit wonder, yeah. What I should do um, as soon as I'm done fighting one king is I should get my shield back out running to the other one. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I used to do. Okay. And as far as rolling, I mean, I could try to roll, but it's really hard to dodge their swings. They swing quite low, and I am rock rocking the chunky roll, so... Um, the best that I can do is try to fill my health as soon as I kill one, get my shield out, and then walk towards him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the fight is just avoiding bad luck streaks like that, staying too far away from him, not being able to get your, your heal in. Mm -hmm. um, and if I run out of Estus, it's going to be a big problem. I think I was down to like is, uh, five. Do you have any grass that you can take? Uh, I have the grass crest shield. Do you have any like consumables? I do. I have like 99. But the fight needs to go quickly enough that I can't spare the time it's going to take me to grass. Like, Could you grass before you go in or is it like a very like short amount of time that lasts? Um, I could grass. I've done it before. Yeah. Um, it's just better for me not to. Are you, You're suggesting the eagle shield I assume. Grass and then. Full uh, oh, I, I have no. I was hoping that they would stack. No, no, but uh, I could replace the grass crest shield with the eagle shield. No. It just makes the fight a little more complicated to have to grass because I want to be killing them as quickly as possible. Oh like, yeah, no, I don't want you to like. I just. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't want you to have to stop during the fight to grass. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's long Full enough. Full eagle shield. To... Yeah. I don't know. We might get there. If mm -hmm. I find that it, it just is the shielding that's killing me, then uh, it might be worth the grass. I almost think it's the dodging, if you could... Which I, like, I know that this is like the tried and true standard for fighting these guys. Yeah. And I respect that. Because if you dodge, you'd have to dodge like every single attack on you. If you're wearing light armor. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even try it with light armor. But uh, I could try dodging when I'm far away. It's going to be fat roll, no. but... Exactly, so it's really not much point, yeah. Anyway. That uh, wraith followed you to the fog gate. Yeah, I saw that. I remember that time in Dark Souls 2 when you beat a boss and uh, all the guys on the other side of the fall gate came crashing through. <laughs> Hello, yeah, that boys. Was, uh, that was Mitha. <laughs> yeah, it was. So I did dodge his long attack there, his, his distance attack. Two handed? Just by rolling. No, I was just going to say, are you going to go two handed? Because you yeah. have the shield up? Oh, yeah. oh, you want to be closer? Yeah, no, it makes sense. Makes sense. But every now and then he just turns enough to. Uh... Oh, I can't block that. Enough to hit me really hard with one of his attacks. Okay, yeah. 
oh yeah, like it's almost like you overcompensate, or like his his arc is just so mean that there's only oh one God. sweet spot to avoid it. I can't avoid. Anytime you see him turn around and go purple, either he's going to explode or grab me, and I can't avoid either of them. No, no, of course not, because like, because of the setup, like you just can't get away. Nor would you really want to, because you want to be up close and personal for the yeah. follow-up attacks. Oh fuck! This is going to be fucking shitty, isn't it? Was. Oh, it was the second king that came and got you? Yep. Um, I don't find it's them breaking through my shield that's hurting me. It's mm -hmm. um, their unblockable attacks, and then when they te they team up on me like that. Because I have been switching yeah. back to my shield, and it's been doing okay. Yeah, um, yeah. And then even when I... Uh, well, I think the grab is, is avoidable, but the scream is not, yeah. That's what got you, wasn't it? Was the scream and then the from behind. I've tried to, to dodge the grab many, many times, yeah. and I can't do it. But, um... Oh, well, it's definitely not a consistent thing. <laughs> so how did you get through the last uh, playthrough? Just like this. I remember, I, I see now why, like, you were, like, so blown away, like, with the first game playthrough. Yeah. Because like these guys are so fucking hard on the on the new games that the idea of them being easy is just kind of like the way that you did Orange Seems More. Like the idea of them being easy is just so far from my mind right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my first playthrough they were this hard, and they've been this hard every playthrough since for me. Uh -huh. So okay. I don't know. Is this the, and I assume this is the most damaging weapon you have? Yes. Um, as far as like damage per second, yep. Um, I can't do any more damage than what I'm doing now. There you go. And still like survive and be able to fight properly. Yeah. But uh, this is one of those fights that I expect to put 20 fights into it before uh, before I get lucky enough gotcha. to pull it off. So intentionally saving this for last because. Uh, <laughs> The consolation is that it'll be the end of the stream. Okay, <laughs> something to look forward to, huh? Yeah. And that uh, I won't have to do any more work after this. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fucking work. Yeah. Good call, man. Because I find these games can be like a little draining anyway sometimes. Yep. Because like, you have to be so focused and so on it the whole time. Sleep good tonight. Yeah, for sure. love to have killed me there, but I have to disappoint.
Nice roll. Even if it was like arguments. Yeah. That's good. And the other silent strategy that happens is uh, only drinking Estus when I'm at no stamina. Because okay. I would charge Estus um, when my fucker. Oh, uh, you recharge when he drinks Estus. Yeah, I recharge stamina as he's drinking Estus. I don't think I've even made it to the third king yet. No. Um, yeah, you did. You did the first try. You took two kings down. Yeah. And then the third me. king killed you on the way up to him. Killed me instantly, yeah. Yeah. It's boss fights like this that make me question committing to a marathon. Gotcha. Last thing I have to do for the stream, so. <clears throat> so now you're doing it in a spite. Pretty much. At least I don't have to fight Gwyn after this. Mm. That's so true. I expect he would be easy in comparison because you got your chops back. Yeah. <clears throat> But I think that would make me hate a game if I did that. If you Fight him, like, if no, if I if I beat Gwyn, play the whole game and beat him again in the same night, I'd be like, that's it, I'm done. Yeah. Having fun. Well. Yeah. It's the last thing I have to do on this stream because we started with the Gwyn final boss fight. And I've really only fought these guys like four times, something like that, four or five times. I'll never understand the concept, like, this is one thing I love with Dark Souls 2 in that they do stop respawning, so it makes the run back a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess it does make it a lot quicker for you because you were just dodging them in the all in ways, but yeah. I just hate the long run back to the boss. Oh, fat roll. Get your roll. Oh my god, you're kidding. So, he did his distance attack, and yeah. as it hit me, he did a regular attack at the same time. And <laughs> the distance and regular attack hit me at the same time. And me. Say it ain't so. Yeah, this whole night. Okay, this a this, uh, distance attack he does, I've uh, heard many say that it is one of the most unblockable things that they have going. Yep. Like, everything else, I guess, can be somehow blocked one way or another, even if it's super hard. But that thing is like, it just can't be done. Yeah. The purple rip in time. Um, one thing that I could do to make the walk a little quicker is put away all the armor that I'm not using and then just switch to Havels before I jump in. Nah, it's up to you, boss. 
I'm fine with it. Just chug a log and back. Wrong way. No. The reason I have like eight of everything is because I have never like gotten rid of sold anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's actually a fairly long process in this game. Or the masks. I think they're probably down at the bottom. Yeah. And I need one sunlight maggot. <coughs> This is my standard loadout, and I can actually run. <clears throat> if I'm gonna have to be trekking there, it, it makes the trek a little quicker. It's neat watching the speedrunners in Dark Souls 2 beat a boss and then slap on the uh, the higher experience armor right before the souls actually hit them. Yep, I've seen that done. Uh, you can do it in this too because there's like purposely uh, a large dif uh, time difference between when you land the last hit and when you get the souls. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. Four kings before midnight. Yep. I was Sunday. The stream wrapped up by one, but no such luck. I knew this boss was going to be a fucking misery. So. What I don't get is the bit of chaos getting done in two tries. Yeah, me neither. Like that kind of bothers my mind is full of fuck just off that one. Good for it. And that's though. where I thought. Yeah, I thought that's where the time sink would go. Because if it had been, we wouldn't have finished tonight. It would be like fucking 2.30 in the morning. Mm. Yeah, so that was a significantly quicker run. Mm -hmm. Agreed. But I gotta get my shit together because there are ghosts after me. Oh yeah, and they can go through the fog door. I always forget that. Yeah. That's lame, Carl. That's poorly programmed. Even scarier is that there's a possibility that it's intentionally programmed. Oh, yeah, but you know, these tip fucks it is. There it is, the long attack. Is he doing the purple who ripped through time attack? Yep. Well, bend over and take it. That I did. Oh, I hate that attack. It's so stupid. Oh, nice. But you walked like a pimp. Yeah. And then you just let a sword hit you and not even take any damage because you're a pimp. Oh, yeah. The worst part about the grab is how long it takes because he's just letting kings spawn. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, good call. Oh, 
Oh, I see the other king is circling. Yeah. He wants blood. He took that one on the chin. One thing I kind of liked about the healing in Dark Souls was if you get hit just after a heal, then your health can still go above it. Still covers that hit. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that too. Do you miss the Radiant Life Gems yet? A little bit. I like how you keep circling around these fuckers too to make sure that no other kings are going to come up from behind them. That's how you got to do it. Oh, there he is. There's another one. Stupid, stupid. Oh, that's funny that the other king missed his attack because you're too busy getting caught up in the love shack. Yeah, I really wish this other one would fuck off. He's like right on my tail. And the first one keeps do spamming like the crappy, shitty, unavoidable attacks. Yep. Holy shit. We're gonna have a third one here soon if it, uh. They'll stop wasting our time here. Oh wow. I just uh did a double humanity heal by accident. Mm. That's a first. Oh yeah, cause that year of justice call. Uh, cause you're doing the thing. Genius. Fuck. He killed me. I had like oh, three of them on me at the end there. There was, yeah. Yeah, I can see him. So I had the last king down to like two thirds of his health. Yep. <clears throat> the third king is programmed like what, Devin? <laughs> to spam AOE attacks, I assume. <laughs> Humanity healing was actually kind of nice. I didn't have to worry about what I was wasting and... But uh, the problem is that when you need another quick heal immediately after, you can't just pound it down. But yeah, that was just bad luck. I, it's luck as to whether the kings crowd you or not. Like, they just kind of wander around. And if they happen to all get really close to you, then they're going to attack you, but, you know. I think they should be programmed to, like, kind of fucking leave you alone while you're dealing with one of them, because there's enough space in the arena that they can just do whatever. Humanity at the first and Astus at the end. Um, yeah, it's not a bad idea actually.
Jordan, your rhythmic breathing into the microphone is making me sleepy. <laughs> I respect good inventory management. Yeah, the walk back is fairly quick now. Mm -hmm. Oh, much better. The fucking fight's actually longer than it, which is nice. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes that's all you ask for, is just let the fight be long and the walk back. That's how I felt with the old Iron King, at least, because I didn't have the shortcut bonfire. It'll be a sad day when I run out of humanity here. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. You know, I think my favorite boss fight in this game might have been the Iron Golem, just because I laughed so hard at it. Yeah. Like him smacking me around. The problem with using humanity to heal is that it's risky. Yeah, it is, yeah. But I think I'm going to start doing it every time I run out of... Uh, Endurance, because there's no reason why not to. Yep. Fuck. And to me, this is like all about the endurance in this fight. Yeah. Yeah, spamming humanity might be the way to go. Yeah, you took that first one down, the easiest yet. I mean, he still had his boyfriend over there to fucking fuck you up, but... Yeah. And it's stupid that the screen takes all your, uh... Oh, my grimace. The screen takes all your stamina. Yeah. I hate that. being at fucking full health this entire fight. Oh, another one. Another king. Stupid. Spamming humanity is the way to go. I don't have to worry about health anymore. Um, nor do I have to worry about wasting time waiting, just standing around waiting for my stamina to deplete. Yes, yeah, so to true, yeah. Replenish. Yeah, because obviously this fight needs to be over as quick as it can be. Yeah, it's time efficiency. Because, like, I need to heal, I need time to heal. And it would be nice to do something uh, while replenishing. Mm -hmm. Especially for that uh, unlucky hit when he takes most of my health. Yep. And he's dead. So true. Nice, man. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna. You went through uh, like uh, 20 humanities? You had 90 before you went in, and you're at 72 yeah. now. That's fine. I had 99 before I started. Yeah, I remember it. Um, but yeah, that's fine. I can go farm that in 20 minutes. Oh yeah, no, totally worth it. Congrats, buddy. Now I'm going to bed. Yep. I'll see you next time. Uh, that was awesome. You guys have a good night. That's the end of the stream. Next stream. Yay! Watching the content or fucking, I don't know, whatever I feel like. So, you guys have a good night. And that's it. See you next time. Peace. Yeah, thanks for all your help, Devin.